Uh, my death counter isn't working anymore. And I don't understand why. Why are you not working? Give me one moment. Let's see if I can fix this. Why? It's just stopped working. I don't know why. My death counter was working quite normally earlier, and now it's just not. Well... Oh, there it is. It's working. It's working. We got the death counter working. Okay, we should be live. Let me just check I'm live on all of my stuff. Um, YouTube seems to be glitched. Twitch. I should be live on Twitch. Yes, I'm live on Twitch. Should be oh, live that's weird. Twitch. I can hear myself. That's creepy as heck. And we're live on YouTube. Okay, we should be up and running. Good to go. Right, let's get started. We're back on Scorched earth we need metal like desperately need metal that's where we're at now we are doing okay in terms of tames we've got the morella drops and whatnot uh has this thing just eaten like all of the berries i put in it i think it has let's put some berries in this morella drops before we go off adventuring so hopefully it doesn't starve to death because starving baby morella drops are bad Happy, alive baby Morella Trops are good, I think. They're sort of growing into my terror bird here. I really need a, uh, I really need some cryopods <laughs> so I can, like, start putting all my tames away. I don't know if they even eat stimberries, actually. I don't think stimberries count as food. So let's just make sure that they've got all these berries in them. There we go. Right, we can go off on an adventure. We need metal. So let's drop everything from him and let's start moving. So all of this guy's levels are in weight. I'm hoping this Morella Trops can get us enough metal to sort of begin moving past the primitive stage of the game that we're in at the moment. It would be really nice if we could get some resources, get some, get a crossbow, get a metal pick. I'd love to get crystal today if possible. I believe there's crystal at the top of these mountains. I just have no current way of getting there. <laughs> Um, flyer. Flyers are the ultimate goal for today. If I can end today's stream with a flyer in hand, I will be so amazingly happy. It's, yeah. I think we saw some metal near one. Have we mined it all? We may have mined it all. The, all the metal that was here. Alright. We're gonna have to trek all the way over to green up then. We could get an Anki. But... We don't really have the resources for that right now. So I'm a bit skeptical about our Anki. About getting an Anki. Like, if we saw an amazing Anki, then yeah, sure. But 55 and 20 aren't amazing. If we saw a Tapa... I, so someone commented on the last stream that there are Tapahara on this map. And I had completely forgotten about that. If we see a Tappy, we'll grab that straight away. But... Yeah. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late today. I said I was going to stream an hour earlier than I actually did. We've been uh, clearing out some stuff for the... Well, clearing out some of our old stuff in the house, and it took a bit longer than expected. There was a massive line of traffic trying to get into the recycling center. <laughs> okay, let's... Can I get past here? Right, metal's up on this ridge. I don't think there's anything that's, like, going to harm our Morella Trops over here. I think a couple of Raptors we could take. We do hit for like 200 and something, 250-ish with our big stomp. So I think we'd be safe from Raptors. There's Raptors up there, speak of the devil. I wonder if we should try for an RG. Instead, I mean, we can shoot off the back of this guy. We could probably try and lure an RG into a trap. But we're not, we're not high enough level to tame it. Someone last last uh, stream said that the loot drops on Scorched are quite powerful. So let's see what's in this loot drop. Do you know what? I'm going to take that pick. I'm not going to bother with the structures. 
because they're just extra carry weight, which we don't really have. But the pick, considering we're here for our first metal run, I'm actually going to take that and be quite happy about it too. Should get a bit of cactus sap so we can drink and eat it. And let's equip our better pick. We got a level up. Yeah, we got two level ups. I'm going to put them both into fortitude. So we got 10 fortitude now. Right. Please get me a decent amount of metal. Oh, give me no metal at all. That also works. Why am I not getting any metal? Oh, tiny amount of metal. It's probably better than we would be getting if we were using the regular pick. So uh, it's an improvement, I guess. How is everyone doing today? How are people doing today? Is that a terror bird that I see stomping around over there? It is a terror bird. I am not taming any more terror birds after the fiasco last time. No, not another super heat. We've just had a super heat. Oh, God's sake. Right. We're going to have to get through this super heat. And we go grab, grab as much metal as we can. We'll grab as much metal as we can. And then we'll head back. But yeah, we're already starting to burn up. It's just so difficult to survive on Scorched until you have a base. And desert armor. Desperately need some desert armor. How much metal have we managed to grab? 28. It's not a huge amount, but it'll have to do. Let's break this one rock if we can. There are more up here, but we're, yeah, we're going to start losing health. We've started to lose health. Let's see, can we use this one, finish breaking this rock, and then leave? That was like, yeah, so whoever said that the loot drops might be quite good on Scorched, that did seem like a decent loot drop, considering it was a basic tier one. Right, I don't... Do we take the stone as well? I mean, why not? If the Morella drops can carry it, why not? Let's just go. Let's just move. We'll bother with the levels and stuff later. Let's just get back to base before we cook. I'm genuinely considering just building a big staircase up to the top of this cliff. <laughs> so that we can get crystal really early. And then we can grab a spyglass before we do anything else. I'm wondering if that's worth the investment of time for gathering the resources. Because... It would just make taming and, like, scouting around and stuff just a lot safer. And I don't know where any ground-level crystal is on this map. It's like right now, we could be looking at what level that raptor is, for example. We could be looking at what level any birds we see are. When we find argies, we could be seeing what level they are before we get to them. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait for a flyer to get up to that cliff. I'm tempted... I'm tempted. I mean, the Morella Trops gathers resources really well. There seem to be some bushes near our base that gather wood for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why, but there are bushes... Oh, shit. I am going to die. No! <laughs> why? Uh... We get to the water. Last time, we, when we got to the water, we stopped dying. Yeah. Once we got near to the water, we stopped dying. So I think we're okay now. Yeah, our health is going up now, not down. So as long as you stay near enough to the water, you're basically okay in the heat waves. Or build an adobe base. One or the other. Frustrating weather to deal with, but less frustrating, I think, than the sandstorms. The sandstorms are just the worst do not like the sandstorms. Right, let's just get some stamina back. Ugh. Randomly gather some bushes, why not? Yeah, oh shit, no. Nope. We need to stay right on top of the water, otherwise we overheat. I, I think there's crystal just up here. That's... Right, let's stay really close to our little base. Just while there's this heat wave. Let's try and gather some resources. Let's try and get up to... 
the cliff top. Let's try and get some crystal. Let's get ourselves a spyglass, and then we can maybe go out on the terror bird because the terror bird does seem faster than the Morella trops. Go out on the terror bird, do some scouting around, and see if we can't find where birds are. Because I would really like a bird. Okay, we got thatch and that's and the metal. Let's take those. Some stone. Okay, can we make a larger storage box? Large storage box and bookshelf. Barrel storage. That requires metal. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> um, we need wood. We need thatch. We need fiber. A bit more thatch. I think that's all we need for the storage. Alright, let's get a storage box built. And um, we need a forge, a refining forge. Fiber, flint, hide, stone, and wood. Fiber. We might not have enough flint, actually. Flint. Yeah, we do not have enough flint. Let's see if we can repair our nice pick and gather a little bit of flint. Uh, early resources are such a pain. I do want an Anki. Anki would make gathering flint just a ton easier right now. There's enough flint. Okay. And more stone and hide, I think, for it. We might not have enough hide. We do not have enough hide for the refining forge. That's okay. We'll ga grab it in a bit. We'll make it in a little bit. That's fine. Right, so if I put this storage box down... Let's see if these bushes have sort of come back. So just over here, we've got heat strike. It's fine. Just over here, I don't think they've quite come back yet. Oh, it might be these actually. Let's see. So this is just a bush, and then I harvest it. Yeah, and I get a hundred wood from harvesting it. So I harvest all these bushes. It's these these looking ones. And they get give me wood of all things. So the Morella traps now has one, two, three, four hundred wood on him. I don't know why those bushes give wood, but they make the Morella Trops a really good early wood gatherer for some reason. There's tons of them. So it basically just turns a berry gatherer into a wood gatherer. I'm not sure if it's supposed to work like that, but it does. So then we can just get all the narco berries, because they're the only ones we want, and then get rid of all the other berries. And he's got more than enough carry weight for it. I'm really, really, really liking the Morella Trops. I don't know why I never tamed one last time we played Scorched, but yeah, he's doing an absolutely fantastic job right now, just trucking along happily and gathering us a ton of resources. So, it might not be possible to build all the way up to there, though. Like, I'm looking at it, and it looks really quite high. Yeah, that's probably a bit silly to even attempt. But then what do we do until this super heat passes? We can just gather resources, but that's a bit crap. Alright, this is probably enough wood now. This'll yeah, this will this will do in terms of wood. I think we've got more than enough wood for a bit. Let's take the uh terror bird out and see if we can't gather a bit of meat and hide. So we can get our refining forge up and running and the uh some more spoiled meat so let's go melee attack we'll just split all of that while we do this what do we got nearby the morella trops down there we can probably take the morella trops maybe as long as it's a low level one i think we can take a morella trops I, they're a bit a bit more tanky than i thought they were going to be though morella trops so i'm a bit I'm a bit concerned. This guy we can take. Or he'll run away from us and just completely escape. No, come back. I need hide. There we go. There's no climbing picks, are they? That's an aberration thing, so they don't exist yet. So the only way up to those cliffs is fly or build. And I really don't think building is something we should try. Let's see what level these are. 55, 10. I bet we can outrun them. Doing 13 and 9, I think. 
Yeah, one of them's almost dead already. I think we're good. There's there's one. And then the other one's now just going to run away because it's got no friend. And they only fight if they've got a friend. Although it has a child somewhere. Fought into that. Oh, how the heck did you get up there? He hasn't got up there. He's trying to get up, but he can't. How long will this super heat event last? Weather events do seem... It's interesting. So the map has more water on it, which in some ways makes it a bit easier, but also the weather events seem to last absolutely forever, which makes it a little bit harder. I suppose we could just explore along the river, though. I wonder if that's why I think there's less Caprosuchus this time. Because there's more water. So, last time, every time we found water, there were Capros in it. This time, it really doesn't seem like there are that many Capros, because there's more water, maybe? Something like that? One of those weird things where I'm not quite sure if I'm remembering the amount of Capras right, or if they just traumatized me so much that I think there's there were hundreds of Capras and there actually weren't. I'll kill all these ants for a bit of chitin, though. I didn't gather much, but... There's another terror bird down there. I think, they were, I think they're quite common. The terror birds and the raptors seem to be like the most common threat. Let's get some stamina back. Is this a cave? Hello. I mean, it looks cavey, doesn't it? Is this just a cave or is it one of like the underground passageways? I think it might just be a passageway actually. Right, I'm gonna drop some meat just because He's looking a little bit over encumbered. And I want to make a speedy getaway in case anything comes at me. Curious what's in here. There could be something we want down here, maybe. Or we could just get completely lost and end up getting killed in a cave somewhere. Thyla might work. We could climb up on the Thyla. Climb up the cliffs, but getting a Thyla to get a spyglass seems a bit silly. I don't think there's anything too special down here by the look of it. I mean, it looks deserted for a start. We haven't even run into a creature. So it's not a cave. It's just a passage. Oh, hello! Ruins! I'm not going to say no to an explorer. No. Where are we? Nope, that's the wrong button. Huh, is this Red Op? Get an explorer note. Okay. Got five. Oh, our team's got five levels from that. Let's stick them all into melee. Just that's all he's really good for. We've got two tames. That's two levels. Let's just hold them for a second. Something spooking the Morella traps a little bit. Well, ten Anki. Yeah, so we're at Red Orb. Hmm. I remember Red Orb being a bit more dangerous than the others. But there might be birds over here. There's a lot of... Shit, Pego. No, 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 leave me alone, Pego. Let's kill this Pego. <laughs> oh my fucking water skin. There's a lot of, like, resource teams over here. There's Ankies and Doeds everywhere. Level 15 Anki... Baby Morellotrops stuck inside one another, yet 
also floating is an interesting <laughs> sight, I'm not gonna lie. I don't quite know what's going on there. Right. Just wildly running around doesn't seem like a great idea, but we need to figure out where there are some fly- Oh! Oh! Bird! Bird! I see bird! <gasps> okay! Level 75 iron key. Level 45 iron key. I think we've got a quest. I think birds are our goal now. Just any bird. Scorpions are here, but we could bring a trap and get the RG in the trap. Right, I'm going to mark this on the map just because it's the first bird I've seen. So I'm going to put here and I'm going to get birds. Right, so we know that there are some birds here. Let's head back to base. Let's potentially get a bird trap set up. I bet they're all over this cliff up here, actually. In fact, we can walk up here. We might be able to run up here and grab some crystal. Let's try it. Let's try and get up here, try and grab some crystal and see if... Potentially it works. Just give me one second to check something first. Is everything okay with the stream? Like... All the t no technical issues or anything. It feels like there's something wrong with it, but potentially not. Oh no, I just got a feeling there's something wrong with the stream. <laughs> Twitch is working fine. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Oh, look. Okay. So that down there is our base. And we can see that there is crystal on top. We've got such a long draw distance. We can see actively see crystal on the top up there right above our bird's head and there and there so if we could get to it we'd be fine but we can't currently get to it so <laughs> i don't think our little bird will take us all the way over there if we flap over off this mountain but let's see if we can fight our way up versus these scorpions and hopefully there's a little bit of crystal Oh, thanks, Jay. That's really good. I don't know, sometimes we just get technical errors, and I was just had a little feeling that something was going horribly wrong with it. I'm really hoping there's some crystal up here. Watch, instead of crystal, I'm going to find a goddamn rock elemental. It's just going to stomp me. Oh, this is an annoying amount of scorpions. Holy scorpions, Batman. Hopper is doing okay. We're living. Yeah, we're going to have to drop all the meat we're carrying. The meat, I think, is like the heaviest thing we're carrying at the moment. We drop meat, 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 meat. Drop this bow, drop this spear. Drop the spoiled meat, even though I do want it desperately. Drop the boomerang, drop this pickaxe, and eat some of our regular meat. Piss off, scorpion! Right, let's just keep going up. Let's just keep going up. Uh. Now that oh. I was the law in that. Was that a bulb explorer note? I feel like that was a Bob's Tall Tales explorer note. Sorry, I shouldn't have skipped that. That's a new thing. I just react instantly closed it, like, on reaction, because we were being attacked and we've seen all the Explorer notes before. Yeah, so there's Argies down there. I was hoping for Crystal at the top of here, but it doesn't look like we can actually get up to where the Crystal might be. Around here? No. No crystal for us up here. So there's one RG down there. That's the only bird we can see from this vantage point, which means maybe that isn't... Oh, there's a butterfly, though. 
Maybe this isn't a great spot to try and get a bird if we can only see the one. There's another ruin just here, though. We can grab another explorer note. Look at him pumping his little wings. I love him. <laughs> Get him go. Da -da 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 -da. Don't see any more crystal locations, really. That's kind of a shame. Oh, he does take fall damage. I thought he might not take fall damage, but nope, he definitely takes of fall damage. Wally lives on a bloody mountain. Of course they do. Right. 18 levels on the Terra Bird. Let's put a little bit into health just so he doesn't die immediately. Get him up to 1,500 and put the rest into damage. What about us? What are we on now? 12 levels! This is starting to stack nicely now. 12 levels. Let's go 10 into health. And let's go 2 into carry weight. That puts us up to level 48. Let's get down to the water so we don't die of dehydration. That's a big snake. Okay, that water there, that looks like Capra water. That's Capra water if I've ever seen Capra water. Whereas down here is nice, safe, non Capra water. <laughs> I wonder what determines the fall damage of our bird. Like, will he take fall damage here? No. Right, so as long as he's flapping, he doesn't seem to take fall damage. Oh, shit! These guys came out of nowhere. Oh, our terabird's kind of beat up. Right, I think our terabird needs a break from exploring. That's kind of it for him. Okay, let's take him back to base. And we can use the other one. We can swap the saddles to the other one and just... Oh, is it another fucking superheat? Is it the same superheat or has another one just immediately started? Because if... I don't actually know which one would be more frustrating. It being the same or it being a new one. <laughs> Can't decide which of those options would annoy me more. I want to keep just exploring though. Like finding these explorer notes is leveling us up really, really quickly. And we need a better alternative to find a flyer. So we need to just keep exploring. Uh, I wonder if we go back towards Greenob. There's definitely some ruins near Greenob. Like, I remember ruins being near Greenob. So if we go back to Greenob on our other Terror Bird, we might be able to find some... something over there. Something of value. If we can even get to our Terror Bird. Holy crap. The Morella Trops wants to be hand-fed a measure berry. We can manage that. There we go. This one wants a cuddle. We can manage that. Can they follow me over here, please? Because you guys are both kind of in the way. Are you stuck in the Terror Bird? There we go. Yeah, they're stuck in the Terror Bird, so they can't follow without the Terror Bird also following. We tell those two to wait, and then we tell the Terror Bird to follow, and we bring the Terror Bird back over here. And hopefully we won't have... There we go. There we go. Now we don't have, like, a blob of Thames anymore. I wonder if... Does imprinting still affect speed? I know that our ability to change speed to, like, level speed is gone. Or did imprinting ever affect speed? Oh, I'm getting into my own head now about whether or not imprinting made creatures faster. I feel like it did. But I also feel like it didn't. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to try and get to Green Ob. We're going to try and not get into any fights because this this terror bird is much much weaker than the other one even with his tiny little amount of imprinting but if we can get one or two more explorer notes 
we might be a high enough level to get an RG and actually ride the RG. We know where at least one RG is. Even if it's terrible, it's a start. Like, a level 10 RG is better than no RG. I, I know some people would argue with me on that, but I think I would rather just have an RG quickly if possible. So... Try and get a couple more levels. Try and find a few more Explorer notes. Oh, he's out of stamina already. He's so bad. Oh. No. Such a little bad little bird. These are not great games, are they? <laughs> Such a low level terror bird, and the terror birds themselves aren't exactly fantastic. I'm happy we got him. Our other one, the good one. I'm happy we got the good one, because at least he can fight. I want to see what's in this uh, loot drop, if it's actually already come down. So if we could get a crossbow, even just a really crap crossbow, that would be an amazing power jump. And it would mean we'd have to make one. Give me a crossbow. Parasaur saddle, blueprint, and a... Oh, an actual decent Morellotrop saddle. Is that a blueprint or an actual saddle? That's a blueprint, and that's an actual saddle. Do you know what? Actually quite happy with the Morellotrop saddle there. That's not a bad thing at all. Considering our biggest, most powerful team right now is a Morellotrop. I really hope I'm pronouncing that word wrong. Uh, right. I don't hope I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing it right. The more times I say it, the more it doesn't sound like a real word. Okay. So, we're at Green Ob, which is nice and cool. Green Ob is a bit cooler. I swear, if we turn up here, all right, there's a raptor there for a start. He is probably going to come at us. This Pego is going to come at us first, though. The Pego has to die because it's got our water skin. There's no question about it. We have to, find the, have to kill that Pego. Yep, Raptor's coming at us. Level 40 Raptor. We can beat that in a fight. We hit a lot harder than the Raptor. Ah, oh, we can crit the Raptor. Look at the crit damage when we manage to hit its head. We hit for 70. So that change has just neutered Raptors. Let's be completely honest. Changing it so that Tames can do crit damage has completely neutered Raptors. I still don't want to fight all three of those, though, so we're going to move. Piss off, Pego. Oh, he's got my water skin. They've, there's 118 Pegos here. Why? That one's the one without water. Shit! That's a problem. That's a really big problem. Go on, Terror Bird. Rescue us. Good Terror Bird. Good Terror Bird. Terror Bird. There's the one without water. No! No, 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 my character! We're out of stamina. We're out of stamina. All we can do is watch him run away without water. Come here. Come here, you little shit. No, mine. Wait, he didn't run away with the water. He ran away with our saddle. Oh, someone else has run away with the water. We're losing too much health. We need to get back down to the water. We just need to camp by the water for a little bit. Oh god, that's a lot of raptors. I've made a terrible mistake coming here. Oh my god, that's so many raptors. What the fuck? I am unbelievably dead. Whoa, that's a lot of raptors. Okay, that's the first death of today. That was... Uh... That was less than ideal. I'm going to take the Morella Trops over there, though. Because I really want to try and get that saddle back. Put berries in your last slot so they'll target them. That's actually a really good idea, yeah. That's actually a great idea. Hi, random parasol. Immediately start taking damage because it's so flipping warm. You got some hide on you, buddy. Yeah, and there's a decent hat. Okay, we're going to take the Morella Trops over there and we're going to see if we can't get ourselves um, that saddle back. I think it's worth trying to get that saddle if we can. 
What's the difference? It was like a 60 something armor saddle. 65 armor saddle or something. And the base armor is 20. Yeah, it's quite a big difference actually. Alright, hopefully the hat keeps us a little bit cool. Let's make another water skin. Just because we've lost that other one. Take some cactus sap with us as well. Actually, we shouldn't really need a water skin if we're on a Morella Trops. But just in case, I'm going to take it with me. And do we have any more cooked meat or is that all of our cooked meat? We've got three pieces of cooked meat, so yeah, not great. Let's put some meat in to get cooked. Mm. That was not great. That was a bit shit of me, to be honest. To die like that to that many rats. <laughs> uh, vexing. Right. I think that's basically all we can do here for now. Let's put the cactus sap on the hot bar too. Actually, let's do what Jay just said. Let's drop all of this. Let's gather a little bit of berries with the morella drops. Nope, that's a bush. That's not a bush. And we'll put the berries in that last slot, just because it seems to be very heavily pegoed up in... up around green up. There we go. Right, so what we'll do is we'll put that there, we'll put that there, we'll put that there, and we'll grab a stack of berries, drop everything else. Right, that should be enough. We should be able to go and potentially rescue our stuff now. Uh, hopefully. I mean, we've got like three, four times the health on this guy than the, uh, the little babby, <laughs> little babby terror bird had, but that was a lot of raptors. Hopefully they've dispersed. If they've dispersed somewhat, if they've like spread out a little bit, we should be fine. Should be fine. I think it'll be all right. <laughs> I'm going to just risk it. All right, let's get our stamina back while we're down here in the sort of not burning hot death zone. Hey, Respion, how you doing? And then as soon as it gets to the point where we're starting to take, like, heat damage, we'll just start sprinting on the Morella Trops. Oh, the super heat's ended. Nice, we can just sprint all we want. Wonderful. Okay, that's actually worked out quite well with the super heat ending. And we're overheating immediately. How are we overheating? It's not a superheat. Oh no. I need to kill some stuff that drops silk. I really need the desert armor, I think. I'm just constantly overheating. Even with 10 in... Uh, 10 in fortitude, 5 levels point to fortitude, it's just not doing anything. It's a drop in the ocean. It'd be cool if Cactus Sap, like, helped you cool down for a little bit. That'd be a really cool feature. Yeah, it'd be a cool feature. I'm so funny. <laughs> Let's keep moving before I take too much damage if possible. Yeah, Terrible definitely faster than the Morella Trops, but the Morella Trops definitely stronger, so considering we got absolutely wrecked, I think we kind of have to make the swap. I just wish I had a... Gosh, we are taking damage quite quickly. I really wish I had cryopods. Uh, Dino Storage, the mod, has spoiled me. Like, I'm so used to being able to get a single piece of crystal and then just immediately being able to store and carry my tames that going back to, like, vanilla levels of cryopodding is awful. <laughs> it just feels like such a bad experience. Relatrops has a level up, that's nice. Put that into health, actually. There's a flipping micro raptor there, I see it. I see the little bastard. I'm gonna try and kill it. I tried and I failed. Can my Morellotrops kill it? That's the question. Morellotrops is just off. I think he's doing okay. I don't know. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It lives. 
There we go! Now it doesn't live. Fuck you, bird. Fuck you, pigeon. Right, I see raptors. I see many raptors. No, I don't. I see a single raptor. Oh, no, I do see many raptors. Right, let's take them out one by one if we can. You first. Come here. Let's do this. <laughs> one tap the raptor. Shit, that's like... How many raptors can I, can I see here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's at least ten raptors in there. At least ten. And then a bunch more over there. That's awful. If I had the saddle, I'd feel confident, but I don't have the saddle and I do not feel confident. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head up first. And I'm going to see if I can find the ruins that I think are up here. And if I can find the ruins, we'll obviously go step on them and get some XP. And then... Potentially, I'll make our Morello chops a bit stronger, uh, he says, hoping for the best, but expecting the worst, because there's probably a Thyla up here that's just going to come out of nowhere and wreck me. There's ruins! I knew they existed. I knew they existed. A Kano! It's a Kano that's going to wreck me. Cool. All ants. Holy crap, the number of ants. Why so many ants? Cool, right, let's fight this Kano. Drop everything. I should probably turn off harvesting when I'm exploring with this guy. Like, there's no reason for him to be gathering so many berries while we're just exploring. This Kano is going to attack me, I'm sure of it. Rapt if raptors attack me, Kanos will attack me. Or he's going to go after the kangaroo. That works as well. Come here, you. Fight me. Oh, does he only hit for 200 when he crits? But the attack almost always crits raptors. Is that what's going on? Is his big stomp just like an auto crit on raptors because of the angles? Right, where is the explorer note here? There. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> just... <laughs> I love David Tennant. I really do love David Tennant. Okay, we got some arrows from killing that Kano. I'll take them. Drop everything else. We got five levels. Puts him almost up to 3k health. We got a level for ourselves. Let's stick that in carry weight. We're now level 50. We are getting close to that point where we can ride an RG if we can ever actually tame an RG. I don't think we have a choice. I think we have to just go down and face the music. In this instance, the music being a humongous pack of raptors. I am stuck in a bush. I will fight my way valiantly through this bush. <laughs> Let me go. There we go. <sighs> right. What we can do is we can sort of survey it a little bit from up here before we go in in. And hopefully, maybe if we're lucky... They'll have spread out a little bit more since we loaded the area in. Nope, they're still in one massive pack of doom. One pack of doom. Two pack of doom. Three pack of doom. Fuck. Okay. I don't think any of them are alphas. If one of them's an alpha, we're absolutely screwed. What are the chances? Next to zero, right? <laughs> Just like, if they don't notice me. Boom! One dead! That one's aggroed to me. Boom! Two dead! This works. If they don't... If, come on then, come on then. Let's do it, let's do it, come on. Yeah! I love the call that they make, it's so Jurassic Parky. Get wrecked, you little shits. You especially. 
level 81. You should have known better. Why is it taking so little damage? There we go! All of them dead. That, the difference in power level between the Morella Trops and the Terra Bird is absolutely wild. Right, so. Do we have... Oh, we got a metal pick! We got a metal pick! From somewhere, don't know where, don't care, happy. <laughs> Drop everything. Levels in health, level in melee. No! Where saddle! Wait a minute. Where Morella Trop saddle? Oh, wait a second, it's right here. How the hell did I access that? I don't know. I don't care. It's fine. Morella Trop saddle. There we go. Mastercraft Morella Trop saddle. He is a ton more tanky now. I feel good about life. Come on then, hit me. Hit me! Hit me! He does 11 damage. That's fine. We can cope with this. Yeah, so the 200 isn't our stomp damage. It's the crit damage we do sometimes on the Raptor. It's just that the stomp crits a lot easier than the other attack. Probably because it's a top-down attack. It just seems to hit his head much, much easier. Right, that's beautiful. We can farm a bunch of arrows off this guy. Wait. What is this? What the heck is this? Why do we have our Terra Bird in our inventory? Terra Bird. Level 43 Terra Bird. Death Essence. The essence of a perished tame creature can be resurrected in the waters of an oasis saw. Say fucking what now? I'm sorry, you can resurrect tames now. What the actual fuck? Sorry, you know me, I don't like swearing, but what the fuck? Why can you resurrect- how can you- what? Who thought that should be a thing? That shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> no! <laughs> it, mi it might be for taming something, but it also says can be resurrected in the waters of an oasis or So you can resurrect tames. Like, unless I'm reading that wrong, you can bring tames back from the dead. And hello there is a great name. Hello there. You bring shit back from the dead now. Cool beans. That just, like, completely removes a big element of the risk and reward in this game, but okay. Who needs consequences in a survival game? <laughs> Fucking die, Pego. It's still late game. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, if it's, if it's very late game, that's, I suppose, balances it somewhat. But I'm still not... I'm not sure how comfortable I am with that. Right. I have not seen the Oasis or no, I, I don't know what this is. Other than apparently it's God. And it can bring shit back from the dead. Um, okay, let's gather what metal we can now we've got a metal, a metal pick. And let's head back to base. I don't think we're getting any more stuff over here, and we are starting to lose health on the Morella Trops, which does concern me somewhat. I don't want to die. I don't want to lose another tame, even though apparently I can bring them back to life. <laughs> look up the tame method. I, I, don't, I don't look stuff up. I just... I like exploring things and trying to figure stuff out. That's that's how I play these games. But no, it's, it's good at... It's, gonna be fun to figure it out when we find one. I don't even know what they look like at the moment. There's another raptor right there, but I'd very much like to get some metal, if that's okay, Mr. Raptor. Okay, can I get the metal? Can I get the metal, please? Metal pick. Uh, where, where is my metal pick? I just grabbed my metal pick. Nope, I put it away, because I'm bright. Right, so I think last time we got like 25 metal from a metal node, and that was using the green 
stone pick. So we can kind of compare a little bit here with what a basic metal pick does compared to an apprentice stone pick. And we'll see if there is a bit of a difference. I think just from the initial few hits, I think that the metal pick is going to vastly outperform it. Yeah. We've already hit 40 metal. It's just gathering a ton more metal. That's so good. Okay. That should be enough metal to get us started in making crossbow and a metal hatchet. And any saddles we might need. RG saddle. Please, RG saddle. Wait, no, you don't need metal to make an RG saddle because an RG saddle is a smithy, isn't it? I don't think you need metal to make an RG saddle. We can't make an RG saddle anyway. We're not high enough level. I need to forget about my beautiful, beloved RG. We need to <laughs> put it out of mind for a little while. We're not there yet. Oh, gosh, yeah, this is a lot more metal. Like, double? Potentially around double. We are overweight. Let's drop these clothes that we don't need. Let's drop these stone tools we don't need. Drop this that we don't need. Drop the stone. Drop this. And put some more points into carry away. Level 53, we're getting there. <sighs> I don't know where tappies are on this map. I know they exist. Someone commented on the last stream that they exist, and I trust them. So <laughs> I believe that they exist. And I know there are butterflies. But I just don't know where any of them are. 100 metal. This will do. This will do quite nicely. Grab this, we'll head back to base, and then we will start crafting up ourselves a little base sort of structure and whatnot. I think we might... I'm tempted to make it on that little island next to where we are at the moment, but I don't want to build anything too permanent because I do think we want to move base as soon as we can. Okay, this is a lot of resources. Maybe... I don't think I've got it turned up. I think it's only on two. I think, I think resources are on two. Just because I don't like wasting time. <laughs> that'll do. Fuck it. That'll do for now. That'll do until we've got ourselves an Anki. Let's go. Hmm. I don't... I think that area over there has got a bunch of Argies in it. I distinctly remember... When we used to live at Green Up, I remember going that way for Argie Tames last time we played this game. So I think that sort of pillar there and the little cliffs around it have Argies in them. But I also think that they're quite a dangerous place, so... 50-50 on whether or not I feel super comfortable going there. Yeah. We need silk. I think the only thing that gives silk are the butterflies. They are super dangerous. Yeah, I thought that area is really dangerous. I, I remember dying over there quite a bit. I know that there are some structures down in that direction, too. Ah, you live over there on your playthrough. Oh. Like, I know that there are some structures down there. I I think we need a flyer. Yeah, I think we just need a flyer. I know I keep saying this, but we need a flyer. If we can get a flyer, we can then go hunting for all the explorers. So, there was a butterfly near that RG. What if we... What if we make some bowler? I don't know if you can bowler the butterfly. Right. What if we make a, a smithy into bowler, into crossbow, into butterfly, into explorer notes, into RG, or if we get really ballsy, we could take the butterfly and try and go for an egg. If we're feeling, like, really cocky. Right, how about this? How about I just don't stop streaming until we have a wyvern egg? <laughs> you need milk? You do! Shit. I don't... Yeah, I've forgotten about that. Oh. Because it's been... I... I think I still need milk on my settings. I know I've boosted growth speed and stuff because, again, I just don't like wasting my time watching stuff. 
But I think I still probably will need milk. That's gonna be an issue. What level is this Anki here? Hello. Level five. <laughs> okay, no. I like that my Parasaur is tagged on the map because that's where my base is. I could untag him, but then I'd get lost and I wouldn't be able to find my way home. <laughs> right. Right, 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 right. So the last time I did, the last time I got wyverns, or the very first time I got wyverns, I built a massive box. A wyvern trap. We could try and build like a smaller wyvern trap. If it's high enough level, they normally survive. Ooh. Start play finish has a good point. If we go for a high level egg, it might just sort of live. What we could do, right? What we could do is we could try and get a cryopod as well. If we had a cryopod too, that way, if it did start to, you know, slowly expire from life, the universe and everything in it, we could cryopod it. So we keep a, keep a really close eye on it and cryopod it at the last second if it starts to look like it's going to die. That might be what we do. Okay. Do we have hide? We've got a little bit of hide. How much hide do we have? That looks like enough hide to me. Flint might be the issue. One Level 130 should have enough. I mean, we don't really want to pick one up that's a lower level than that, so that kind of works. Right, let's try and go for a butterfly. Butterfly first. Into some levels. Into maybe suicide run for an egg. <laughs> we got some thatch. We got some thatch. We got some flint. Flint, wood, thatch, stone. That's not enough stone. Stone. Forge. Not enough fiber. Forge! There we go. Cryos do kind of suck. Cryos are a bit shit. But they're still... It's still better than letting the tame die. I'd rather cryo it than let it just perish, so... Let's gather all the metal we've got. Probably, yeah, we're going to need to make it in two trips. Uh, I don't need... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if I changed that saying or not. Because it's a stupid fucking saying. I, I, off the top of my head, I genuinely don't know if I have that enabled or not. But yeah, you're right. If I do have that enabled, then that's going to be a problem. You're right. I guess we find out. It's still better to pick up the, the wyvern and not be able to put it out until we make a fridge than it is for the wyvern to die. So that's that's still better. That's still an improvement. Um, how many narcotics do we have? 80 narcotics. Right, let's get some flint. Let's get some more flint so we can make some more arrows. I'm thinking crappy doed, crappy anki might be a good option as well soon. Just so that we don't have to spend as much time whacking rocks. Uh, Morellotrops gets us wood, like a lot of wood, so that's kind of nice. But flint and stone and sand especially if we want to start building out of adobe soon. And I don't want to build a thatch base. <laughs> it has to be a dope. I'm not building a thatch base. No thatch beach bob hut for me. Instead I will have the... Just a fucking foundation with all my stuff on it. <laughs> We're going to be so wrecked if a rex or something comes wandering through here. I know rex is spawned on Scorched as well, so... I have to be careful. Um, yeah, you're right, start, play, finish, but for ASA, they made it so that you can't put your tames out of the cryopod without a, uh, without a fridge. So you need, you can only take tames out of a cryopod 
if you're within range of a cryo fridge. It was an interesting change. I kind of get why they did it, but at the same time, it just means people build little bases all over the place with cryo fridges. So, like, uh, it doesn't really work. Okay, we had tons of thatch. Did not need to make that thatch. Did not need to get all that thatch. Cool, 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 cool. Arrows. We can make 100. We can make 125 arrows. Nice. In terms of metal, we need five for the smithy. There we go. What else do we need for a smithy? Metal, wood, hide, and stone. I think stone is our limiting factor right now, actually, yeah. So a doe head might be the first thing we need to get. Smithy. Right. We have the terror bird saddle. We did recover our terror bird saddle, didn't we? Where is that? Where have I put the terror bird saddle? Yeah, that's understandable. I, I do get burnt out on ARC sometimes. I'm really into Scorch, though, because it's it's the map I just remember the least from my story playthrough. I, I don't remember basically anything about Scorched, so I'm really excited to be playing Scorched. But the island, yeah, I, I struggle with motivation to play the island. I've played it through so many times. And the new island is just the same, but prettier, so, like, eh. Cool! Fiber silk. Do we have any silk? Six silk. Is that it? How do we have six silk? We must have got it from a supply drop. Can we make any thing with six silk? Eight, ten, three, but it needs crystal and pearls. Fifteen. Yeah, okay, no. We can make a crossbow, though. And that's going to require seven metal, fiber, and wood. We do not have seven metal yet. Cool. But let's move some wood and some fiber over. Can you piss off, oil bug? There you go. Some fiber and some wood over there. Where has all my fiber gone? Shit, am I out of fiber? Getting close to being completely out of fiber. That's concerning. I do have Bob's tails. Yes, I have Bob's tall tails. I, I'm. I know there are trains. I'm really excited about trains. <laughs> the cards. The the train cards. Okay, uh, let's make narcotic arrows, and then we're good to go, I think. These. Yeah, the platform cards. Oh, wagons for dinos. <gasps> what? 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 <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> A platform cart that can be built on and pulled by many creatures. Oh my god! I want to make it. I really, really, really want to make it. Oh, I need to make cementing. I need cementing paste. Titan and st right. We're fuck. We need more stone. We need a doed. <laughs> I want that so badly. That looks so fucking cool. <laughs> Why? Why is that a thing? Okay, 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 okay. We're getting sidetracked. We're doing the thing where I get sidetracked by everything. Try it with a thylac. <laughs> Just a thylac climbing straight up a mountain, pulling a horse and cart. Oh, that's fantastic. That genuinely fills me with so much joy. <laughs> what the? Uh, this is what I do like Bob's Tall Tales. I think it's a really cool concept. All right, let's. We've almost got all our arrows made. Um, Bola is stone, wood, thatch, and fiber, I think. Maybe hide. Let's see. 
wood, thatch, thingy, hide, stone. Bola. Oh god, we don't need that many. Let's just make three. Right, I think with three bola and decent chunk of narcotic arrows, we should be able to get ourselves a bird. So let's put everything now away. All the arrows that we don't need can go into the mortar and pestle, because obviously that's where we make narcotics and whatnot, so that's absolutely fine. Right, let's get on the terror bird. Abby's going to be steampunk. Ooh, see, I'm happy to pay for Bob's Tall Tales. One, because obviously I make content, so, you know, it's, it's just kind of worth it for me. And two, because I do like supporting the idea of weird, crazy additions to maps. Like, that does make me happy. Okay, so. How do I make birds appear on the map? Like, how do I... Oh, it's there, it's there. Birds is there. Sweet. Right, so we should be able to just go straight over to where it says birds, and we should burn to death as we go there. Cool. Because it's still super heat, isn't it? It's still super heat. Yes, we should not do this. Gives more replayability. And more endgame stuff. Like, the, I know the train stuff is super expensive, for example. I'm going to tame this doe while we're here. The train... The, you know, the choo-choo train stuff is really, really, really expensive to make. So, that's like a nice, cool endgame thing. Like, you're not building that at this sta at my stage of the game. You're building a train track at the end of the game as something fun. And I absolutely love the Frontier building. I, I have a super flat world from a mod a modder. I can't remember the name. I think it's like Carnex or something. I think he's a YouTuber as well. Um, it's basically a Minecraft super flat world that I use to do building and I was messing around in that earlier and the uh, frontier building stuff is really 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 cool are these guys different to how they used to be like shooting him in the shell and shooting him in the head seem to be identical I, or is it just when he curls up I could have sworn that hitting him in the on the shell in ASE didn't do as much damage, but now it seems to. That's fine. We can get an 85 doe head knocked out. That'll be really good for stone and sand, and then we'll be able to start building. Hopefully by the time we've got him out, the sun has stopped burning us to a crisp. There's a Anki there too. We might just get both of them. Since they're both so close to our base, it's easy to keep them unconscious, easy to get them tamed. The dupe. Easy to go back for more arrows. It's just a nice place to tame stuff out. Surely he's almost unconscious, since he's almost dead. You're not going to die on me, are you, Dodo? I want a magnifying glass so badly. Please don't perish on me. You're actually quite a good doad. You're okay. Everything's okay, little guy. Just go to sleep. Come on. Come on, just go to sleep. There we go. Nice, we got a doad. And over here, we've got an Anki. And a really shit doad. Level 50 Anki... I'd be taming it just for its proximity to my base. Mm. Shit Anki better than no Anki, that's the question. I can't decide. We would be taming it just because it's nearby. Like, uh, I don't think that's a great reason to tame something. Hmm. I'll think about it. No, we're going to leave it just because the the event's finished now. We're not burning to death anymore, so we'll we'll leave him. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. I think he'll need more, actually. Doids and Ankies are usually hungry little bastards. I want, like, a couple of hundred Mejos in him just so that I know he's done and ready to go. Right, 
Now that should do it. Where are we? 140 Mejos and 90 Narcos. That should do it nicely. Okay. I am stuck on a rock. Save my game just in case that causes Ark to crash. But I am stuck on a rock. There we go. No longer stuck on a rock. <laughs> There's also the poker table. Yeah, I've seen that. It does look really cool. Eggs! They're not useful for anything, but eggs! And they're not useful for anything right now. Later on, we might get an egg farm. I remember the first time I played this, I had a Yuti egg farm. It was huge, and honestly not really needed, considering I tame most things just with meat. Okay, 5%. If we just feed him a bunch of narcotics, that'll probably keep him going for a while. He should be fine. Ooh, my dog's going. Can you hear him? Something has made him unhappy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go over to the birds and we're going to see if we can get a butterfly. I'd apologize for embarking, but we all know he's just going to keep doing it, so it seems silly for me to keep apologizing for him woofing. It's just part of the experience. Come to my stream, you might get yelled at by my dog. I'm sorry. Can I get up? <gasps> Can I get up? Oh, I got up! Nice! Okay. 800 meters. I swear I saw a butterfly near that Argent. Fuck. Yes, come on, one at a time. Come on, 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 come on. That's not one at a time. Form an orderly queue for your death. So rude. Kind of scary. Do so much damage. He's doing more damage than I am. He's going to win this. Oh, he came bloody close. We have 12 health left. Holy crap. We need to take this guy back. He is... Not able to do this job <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh gosh, poor little Terror Bird. He is not equipped for this. I think a Raptor would have just been flat out better than the Terror Bird. Although, what level is the Kangaroo? I know people like Kangaroos. Level 5. Okay, yeah, no, we're not taming the Kangaroo. We are not taming a level 5 Kangaroo. I'm sorry. I know people love the Kangaroos, but no. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we're going to have to take our big morale drops, I think. And we'll leave the terror bird here. You got anything important on you? Nope. Morale drops gives us war as well. He's just better. He's just a better option. Let's eat this egg. Hum nom 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 nom. And he can tame, he can get berries and stuff to help us tame things. Yeah, he's just better. He's just better. He's built different. Let's go. Let's go, a little Morella Trops. Come on, you and me. We're off on a mission. Although he does run out of stamina Im immediately if you try and sprint anywhere. <laughs> he's not built for crossing the desert. I mean, he's built for crossing the desert, but not at speed. And I'm overheating. I feel like... The overheating, like we were overheating for a second, now we're not. I'm, I'm unsure of where we overheat and why we overheat sometimes. It sometimes feels a little arbitrary. <clears throat> like right now, it is 46 degrees C. Holy crap, that is... Yeah, no wonder I'm overheating. I really need silk. 
My health is just dropping. Nine hundred meters away from the birds. I don't know if we can get to them without dying. In which case, like, how do we expand? Do we just have to find something that gives us silk? But it's the butterflies that give the silk. I need a butterfly to get silk, but I can't get to a butterfly without silk. This is the riddle. The riddle of scorched earth. Argy up there. Different Argy, actually. I know we can't bowler an Argent. And I know that trying to get one without a trap is just going to be a little prick. There we go, we're no longer burning to death. I was hoping we could find a butterfly. I don't know if butterflies are bowlerable. I don't remember taming one. It's been a long, long... Oh, there's a structure. Been a long, long, long time. Pur purple flowers. Yeah, purple flowers is good. We could, uh... Rare flower an Argent or a... A butterfly, actually. The butterfly especially, that might work. Can you get in here and get that? <laughs> Let's see if we can wiggle our Morella Trops into this structure to get the Explorer note. Yes! Wiggling worked! Can he get out? Oh no! Oh no! Oh he's out! There we go! We're free! We're free! Oh, that nearly went very badly for me. We got a single level from that. We are now level 55. We're so close to Argent level. So near yet so far. I haven't seen a rock golem yet, which kind of worries me because I'd really like to know what they look like on Ascended Edition. I'd, I'd really like to know, like I see floating rocks here. This is a very small floating rock. I don't feel like this is a rock golem. This, I think this is just a floating rock. <laughs> right, I see an Argent. That's the one we tagged. And I see flapping wings over there. That is a butterfly right there. Butterfly. Butterfly flutter by. I don't even remember if they're carnivorous or herbivorous, but... But, 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 but. We are almost at it. We'll find out if they're bowlerable. Once it's down, we'll get it sorted out. Is that a pack of Hyenodon? Uh, they are going to be an absolute nightmare if we get something knocked out. That baby's got a mutation. That's why it's level 47. Because mine are all units of five. So that's got a mutation. That's really cool. Problem is, Hyenodon near something that we want to knock out is an absolute pest. Right. Cool thing about bowlers nowadays is if you point at something, it tells you whether it's bowlerable, which is a really, really, really cool feature. So we sh this is a little tick. So we should be able to bowler this. If I can aim, which which is a big if. My aim with bowlers is famously bad. Yeah, mud. No, don't punch it. It's fine. Ah! Oh, fuck me! We leave, we leave, we leave, we leave. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. I just want a butterfly. I just want a butterfly. Okay, so that's what they look like. Holy shit.
Right, so that's what rock elementals look like, and we're not getting a butterfly. Unless we go round the long way. That legitimately terrified me. Like, no, no word of a lie, that absolutely terrified me. I was so intent on aiming my bowler because I'm so bad at aiming bowler and I usually waste a ton of bowler. I was so fucking intent on the bowler and then it just rose up. All glowing and demonic and just... Uh, oh cool, there's a new, another uh, thing here. That makes me happy at least. Argents cannot be bowlered, right? Don't think Argents can be bowlered. No, of course they can't. What am I saying? I'm being silly right now. Where is Explorer Note? I desperately don't want to get off my team because anything could just love tap me and one hit kill me right now. But I have a feeling it's in there. Yes. Get back on my team, back to safety. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm gonna keep stacking fortitude a little bit. I think we've got a sandstorm coming in. That is kind of gorgeous, but also an absolute fucking nightmare right now. Yep, sandstorm, wonderful. So what do I do? Like, I can't move properly here. I just have to wait for it. it just catches you out in the opening, you're just kind of screwed. And we can move up... ...slowly towards where we think the butterfly is, but also maybe be careful... ...to not die horribly. Like, that rock there is suspicious. And if we trigger a rock elemental, we're not getting away from it. Tent would have actually been really cool, yeah. We could just try and take out an RG, but I don't think we're managing that, to be honest. Not without a trap. I mean, we could try and make a trap. We could just try and gather the resources for a really quick Argent Trap. Why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's do that. Alright, so... Don't think we have any of the bushes that give wood, but these... We've got these... Trees here. May as well... We've got no stamina. We can't regen stamina because it's, um... A storm. We'll see what we can get. I wonder if we can make it out of wood and it would hold an Argent long enough to get him trapped, because they're the wood plants just here. I'm going to try it. I think it's worth trying. That's a tree, not a wood plant. Ah, shit. We're in a gap. I'm getting sand. I love that you just get given sand during a sandstorm. I think that's a really funny feature, actually. Oh! Uh, thing! Thing! We need to keep an eye on it. Thing! There! Butterfly! Moth! <gasps> oh, please. I don't think they land, like, ever. The wood and that and... Uh, drop everything else. It's fine. We can get more berries. Where's it gone? No! I think it's gone up there. They just don't seem to land. <laughs> Our Doet is gonna tame. The Doet's absolutely fine, right. Sandstorm is over! That was quick. That was actually really nice and quick. Nice, 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 nice. Where has the butterfly gone? 
I have just a little bit of heat stroke, and I think it's making my vision go all blurry. I really wish I could turn that off. I just don't like things that affect my screen like that. You, you must die. You need to perish. Yeah, I'm sure they do land. I just haven't seen one on the ground yet. I can't see it at all anymore. There it is. It's there. It's landed. It's landed. Here we go. Pump it. Pump it with shots. Don't. It's all gorgeous. It's only level 10. Oh, that's actually really good. That means it'll tame really quick. I'm honestly fine with it being utter dog shit because it, it gets us crystal. This thing gets us crystal. Yeah, that's that's all it does. It gets us crystal. Okay. Uh, berries. I don't think it'll need narcotics if it's this lower level. Boop. Just keep an eye on it for a second. You knocked out a level 8. Yeah, I think low level flyers are fine. They're one of the only things that you should really go for at low levels. I see another one over there. A couple of Argies up there. I see the Terror... I'm going to kill that Terror Bird just in case. In case it comes over. Come here, you. Perish. Bad Terror Bird. Oh. Right, let's... I wonder if you can harvest silk from them when they're tamed. I don't think I've ever tried that, actually. I don't know if they give silk in any way, shape, or form. Let's get a saddle for it. Uh, it requires chitin, hide, and fiber. Not... Not really something we could get out here, but as soon as he's tamed, we can just tell him to follow us. Maybe we get another one of them knocked out. There's another one just up on the hill up here. Let's try it. Why not? Cool, we can drink water from him. Works nicely. I swear I saw one of those little water spots on the ground here. I wonder if we can fill the Morella drops from it. We can get a second butterfly knocked out, though. You chopped them for silk. Yeah. That's that's a shame. I don't want to kill one. Uh, could have sworn I saw a second up here. But everything is blurry. And the screen keeps wiggling, which doesn't help. Hmm. Let's just go around the mountain and have a quick look. Ah, this. Can I ref can I drink from here? So How do I do this? Can you not drink from this, but I can Can I drink from this? Water vein, drink water. So I can drink water from this. But I can't make my Morella Trops drink water, and I can't fill up my water bucket. Okay. That makes sense. Another building. May as well get the Explorer note, since we've still got the last one active. I'm really sorry about the screen blur. Like, the, the wig. Oh, no, we've already got this one. When did we get this one? Fair enough. Oh, this is the one we landed on earlier with the Terror Bird. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. Wherever the other moth was, it does not seem to still be here, so... We seem to have lost the moth. 
the second moth, which is not the end of the world, but is still a little bit frustrating. There, 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 there's one right there. Okay. Bit of a pain to get to. But worth it if we can get to it. I mean, is it coming over here or is it staying down in that valley? I think... I think it's staying in that valley. It's potentially going to land over there? No. We need to bowler it, though. I only have the one bowler, too. It's going up. It's coming back. It's potentially landing. Please land. Nope, not landing. Oh, there's water down there. We could go down to the water to fill up our Morella Trops, maybe. Don't want to risk it. I'm such a bad shot with Bola. No, I don't want to risk it. Land, you silly moth. There we go! No idea what level this one is. 55, so this one would be a bit better if we could get it knocked out. Chances of us getting it knocked out before it escapes. Quite low, I think. We'll try. No! No, come back! Shit. Shit! No, he's escaped. 100% he's escaped. I can't even hit him. Unless the topper really ticks up all... Oh, the topper ticked up! <laughs> yes! Okay! Nice! Right, the topper ticked up. Get some berries in him. And I th think if the Morella Trop just sort of stands in the water, it might fill its water up. Yes, okay. Let's fill our water up as well. Oh, that's really good. Okay, let's get this guy taming. Two of them is better than one of them. <laughs> Mejos. We have Mejos, Mejos, Narcos. I don't think we'll need Narcos, but. Better to have and not need than need and not have. Okay, right, so. That other one isn't tamed yet. They do take quite a while to eat, don't they? I'm gonna let this one's topper drop just a little bit, and then we'll. don't think they need to be fed narcotics, actually. I think they'll be fine. I'm trying to think if it's better to make a saddle for them or not. Probably not. We probably do need them to follow us home, I think. Although we might be able to get them to follow us along this river. There's a bunch of ants. Go away. Yeah, I'm going to see if this river leads back home. It does. This It does. So this, this river here leads us back to our house. So we should be able to follow the river back home. Pick up our um, terror bird. Come back with the terror bird for the butterflies. One of them's already tamed. Let's... Yeah, all right. Let's go get the one that's tamed and let's bring it back along the river. That's what we'll do. Because I think the river's probably the safest place. Water being safe is not something I expected from Scorched Earth, but the water seems to be the safest place. And as soon as we've got the one flyer, we have access to crystal. And that gives us a spyglass, and then that means we can have a look at the RGs and potentially set up an RG trap and get ourselves a good RG, and so on and so forth. And yeah, this is good. This is really good. I don't think... I 
don't think a level 10 butterfly is getting us a wyvern egg, but I'm willing to just strip naked and <laughs> fly over there on him and see if we get lucky. I'm willing to try it just for the loss, to be honest, since we've got two of them. I don't know if they're an opposite sex. If they're an opposite sex, we could breed them as well. Come on, you. Yeah, let's take him home. Level 14. If anything touches that, it just dies in one hit. But... I think... To be honest, if a Wyvern touches a level 100 butterfly, it's going to die in one hit anyway. So, realistically, the difference that we're looking at is in stamina, not in anything else. Hmm. And if we collect a few Explorer notes with it, we might have some stamina. It's it's 50-50. This one down here, the level 80, the level uh, whatever it is, is it 80? 55 or something, that might be better for the Wyverns, potentially. <laughs> I really like the idea of trying to get a Wyvern egg on a level 10 team. Lymantria? Lymantria? Moth. I'm going to just call them moths or butterflies. I think, I think we pronounced that right just then, but it hurts my head. Big snake. This is why we avoided this pond earlier, because of the snake. It gave me Capro vibes. Shit. No, 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 no. I... Surely my level 10 thing kills that. Come on. If it dies to this fucking bug, I'm going to be appalled at it. Where's it going? It's not a, It's not hitting the bug. It's just flying up and up and up. Is it still following? It is still following. Okay, that's all that matters. Let's just leave. <laughs> Let's just leave. Just keep moving. Shit. It's gonna die, and I can't do anything about it. I think it's out of stamina or something. Oh, no! Come here, and I can save you, you silly creature! Come there, stay there, and I'll kill them for you when they arrive. It's okay. There we go. See, look, look, look. Moth is not very bright. I worry about the moth's mental state. It just almost got wrecked by a very, very small ant. I don't know, Wicked. I don't know if there are still wild tapahara someone commented on my last stream that they are tapahara but i haven't seen any but they are incredibly skittish so they could have just like escaped yes they're near the dunes hello there says right we could use the lamantaria the the moth to find a tapahara tame a tapahara and use the tapahara to get a To get a dragon. We could do it like that. No, not again, not again, not this crap again. No! Go there, just go there. Listen to what I'm telling you. Go there. There we go. No, do it again, do it again, do it again. I'll, I'll save you. There we go. I swear this thing is gonna get killed by an ant. If we're not careful. I swear. <sighs> what level is the... I'm going to get the first 
100 plus Draboa that we see. And I'm gonna to breed a couple of Draboa at some point. Because I do like them. Although I've heard that they're a little bit bugged at the moment and that they just scream. And that that's all they do. They just scream about the weather constantly. Which, as a Brit, I can kind of relate to. That's pretty much all we do, too. Oh, gosh. If I get home, I can finally... Finally! Make a saddle and fly. If I've got enough chitin, which I almost certainly do not have enough chitin. Okay, as soon as we get home, we can gather chitin, and then we can fly. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right. You're home. Good moth thing. Well done. Let's see what your saddle requires. Uh, 95 chitin. I have my doubts we have that, to be honest. That's quite a lot. Oh no, shit, we do. And what else was it? Was it just wooden fiber? I think it's just wooden fiber. Hide. Wooden hide. Uh, if hide's the issue, I'm going to be annoyed. Wood and hide. Terror bird, we might have to go and murder in again. I think we do. Come on, buddy. Let's go kill something. It's going to be so much nicer once we've got, like, a better murder tame. At the moment, our murder tame is a 140 terror bird. It's a bit shit. It can't do very much murdering. But it does enough. It does enough of the murdering. I'd love a Thyla. I'd love a Thyla so much right now. It could just do everything. It could travel, it could do caves, it could fight. I don't think my favorite team is on this map. I don't think there are any Baryonyxes on this map, so a Thyla... Thyla is kind of like a poor man's Baryonyx, in my opinion. <laughs> They're not as good. I like Barry's more. But a Thyla will do. Come here, you. Was that like a lightning strike? Can that affect me? Does that hurt me if it hits me? That's really cool. I mean, I would assume it hurts me if it hits me. It's a fucking lightning strike. What level are you, my friend? 50. You are also high. I think this is enough hide now. I think we've got the saddle, and I think the other one is almost tamed. 50% tamed, yeah. The Doet's tamed, at least. There we go. Okay, that's 100. That'll probably do. Yeah, let's, let's head back. There's a lot of tumbleweed. There is a lot of tumbleweed. I was scotched. Oh, so, I kind of set getting a flyer as like the ultimate goal for today. I didn't think we'd actually achieve it, and we've achieved it pretty quickly. The butterflies are a really nice early flyer, but I do want to use them to get better flyers. I don't want to stay with them for very long. So I think we get the saddle for this one, we make enough crystal to get, sorry, we gather enough crystal to make a spyglass, and then let's maybe go straight back to the mountain where we just were and see if any of the, um, see if any of the Argies that are flapping around over there are any good. There we go. Now come here, moth. Come on, come here. You're not following me. That works. Basically, just get off the cliff, please. Thank you. Right, yeah, crystal first. Uh, 
Weight 180, that's a bit shit. Stamina 100, that's awful. This thing is not good. Can it even get us up to the top of the cliff without running out of stamina? It's going to struggle. It's really going to struggle. Look at it. This is not a good flyer. <laughs> I mean, it's the lowest level, so... The second lowest level, but still. Crystal! Sweet, beautiful crystal. How I missed you. That'll do. That's enough to get ourselves a spyglass. I wonder if we could build a base on one of these pillars. I don't... Okay, so I know they've changed how water works. How, like, pipes and the intake works. So I don't think you can pipe water like you used to be able to. So maybe we won't be able to build up there, which is a bit in there. But, you know, we'll cope. But I think it would be cool. Right, spyglass. It's just crystal fiber, hide, and wood. And we've got enough hide, we've got enough wood, we've got enough fiber. We can make ourselves a spyglass. There we go. Right, let's have a drink. Okay, so it looks like the lightning does not do damage then, because all of my tapes are fine. Let's grab on this guy, let's obviously level him up in stamina, because otherwise he's going nowhere. And let's see if we can't head over to the mountain where we just were. It is really pretty, yeah, its wings are kind of lovely. I imagine a mutated one of these would be gorgeous. I think the absolute prettiest tame in Ark is a modded creature. It's the, uh, I think it's, is it AC2? It might be AC2. It's the G Giga Titan. That's just, oh, the prettiest creature I've ever seen in Ark. The, the most pretty vanilla creature? Probably Rock Drakes. I'm a big fan of Rock Drakes. Please, can my stamina go up? I'm not moving! Wait, does the bug get rid of my stamina? <laughs> Am I just in like an infinite loop? No, stop! Oh, fuck. Be peaceful, you little shit. Come here. I'm not moving. So why is it not regaining? It's not regening stamina. There we go, there we go, there we go. Regenning stamina now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so confused. These little ants are going to be the bane of my existence today, I swear. Right, so we can do very, very small flights, and then we must wait, and we must rest. So let's get up to the top of the cliff here, and then let's have a little rest. Have a little sit down. We'll think about what's going on. We'll have a peek at these two Argents. Got a level 15. That's absolutely dreadful. We got a level unknown. Let's go a bit creep. Let's creep a little bit closer to the unknown and see what we're looking at. 45. I don't think either of those are really anything to write home about. Not super interested in them. I think there was maybe another one over on this side? Maybe? If we're lucky. We could just go up. And once we're at the top, we could park up there and have a look around. That's probably going to give us the best view. This is where a rock elemental just stomps me, isn't it? What's that parser? It doesn't have a very long range, this thing. That's kind of the problem with it. I, like... I know the awesome spyglass is broken OP, but at least it shows me things that are far away. Level 10. Oh, okay. That's, that's rubbish. If it was a really good passer, I think it'd be worth getting, because they're pretty strong. Go up to the next bit, and we'll chill here. Ah, there we go. There's two more Argies, and we've got a level 15, and a level 15, wonderful! Oh, great selection. So many Argies to choose from. 
a level 35. So there is the highest level RG we've seen so far is 45. That is that is painfully depressing. I'm not gonna lie. These are some low quality birds. Oh, there's another one nestled here in the cliffs. Level 20. Yeah. Now we're now we're really going for it. Uh, there's another moth over here. Level 50. That's not great either. Oh. I forgot how absolutely terrible the leveling used to be. Like, the levels that this game used to have for spawns used to just be so bad. I'm gonna just sort of head over towards the Wyvern Trench, okay? I'm not necessarily going to get one. I'm not necessarily gonna try. But I'm gonna head in that general direction. <laughs> just, just in case. You never know. What's, is that the bug that we saw a second ago? Level 55, so no, it's a different bug, but it's still crap. Another Argent. Level 15. Uh, a what? Still garbage, sorry. Level 15. Level 80. Level 80 is still a bit shit, but like, it's much better than what we've seen. Level 80 is potentially worth taking, like... If you mean the, like, the spawn rates, then yeah, it's the same spawn rates now as when these maps first came out, so... Yeah, the levels are still absolute garbage, yeah. You're far more likely to get under 50 than you are to get over 50. 35. Basically, you everything you see will be 50 or under. <laughs> it's fucking atrocious. Level 40. I mean, it does technically make the maps harder, but it's, it's artificial difficulty. Because you could just tame two level 40s and breed them and mutate them if you really wanted, so... Yeah, it's, the level the leveling is still absolutely dreadful. Yeah, you're right there. Your RG observations are accurate, unfortunately. Like, if we see a level 100, and, and remember, level 100 is only 66% of the way up to max, so it's not even that high, really. If we see a level 100, we get super excited, and that's kind of sad, really. You shouldn't get super excited about seeing something that's 66% of the way up there. Although, that's a lot of birds. There's uh, quite a few birds over there. Hi, baby Morella Trops. I'd like my stamina back, please. I'm just going to fly over to the edge here, just in case. And then we'll sit at the edge. This is a bit safer. Is that a little pack of Listhios? Yeah, and he's got a little baby with it. I love it when... Right, okay, so... I'm convinced that Ark Ascended is as much of a copy and paste as they could physically do. And I'm convinced of it because of stuff like this that used to happen in Ark Evolved. <laughs> it's a copy and paste with better graphics. I'm fucking convinced of it. I don't see any of the art. I can't, like, Rock Elemental. A bunch of baby Kentros all in a blob. And another Rock Elemental. Cool. And a level 35 RG. You still be thing with the shield of Cthulhu. Yes! <laughs> I, I hate shields, okay? It's a personal thing. <laughs> shields can fuck off. Level 15, level 50. But there's potentially a ruin up here, so we might want to dive in there if we can. Level 70 is pretty good. We're going to dive into the ruin just for the... The explorer note, wherever it is. Oh shit, vulture. Why? Leave me alone! Yeah, I, I can see that. 
I can see 100% this being an update that they've just turned into a, a tried to turn into a full game. Yeah, 100% I can see that. Look, people have found um, errors. There are like typo errors in stuff. I can't remember what it's in, but I saw it on the Ark Reddit. So there are typo errors that exist in Ark Evolved that exist in Ark Ascended. And that's just funny to me, like that the same fucking typos exist. Oh, birds! Level 25, level 45. I just, if I see a three digit bird, okay? 35. 10, but it's gorgeous. 15. It's another beautiful bird. It's a gorgeous update. 70. 10. 30. Uh, yeah, we're not seeing a three-digit bird. They don't exist. I, I don't want to sit here and shit on Ark. I, I love Ark. It's a great game and everything. And I don't think it's Wildcard that dropped the ball. I think it is Snail Games. But... Ark Ascended does run like shit for what it is. I've been playing Horizon Forbidden West, okay? And it's a, it's a much better looking game. Like, it's a ten times better looking game. And it runs... Butter smooth on my computer. Just, you know, 100 plus frames per second on 4K max graphics. The island struggles to hit 60 on max graphics 4K and crashes all the time. But again, I do not think this is a wildcard thing. I think this is a snail games thing. I think this is a publisher issue, not a developer issue. I think the developers do a great job, and they clearly love the game. That's a blue Argent! Look how pretty it is! It's it's so dead, it's fighting like all the Sabertooths in the world for some reason. Okay, we're at the Wyvern Trench. I think at this stage... I think at this stage we, we try it, you know. I've crashed like twice on Scorch and a hundred times on that. Yes! I, I'm so glad someone else has experienced this. I crash every episode I try and record on the island, there's a crash. Every single episode, without fail. So I've started manually saving the game like that constantly. That is a fucking... What is... It's a Fasilisuchus. Cool. Didn't know that was a thing. So I've started manually saving. Every single episode I try and record on Ark Ascended, there's a crash, without fail. The island? Uh, sorry, on the island. Uh, but on Scorched, I haven't had a crash yet. And I'm running at a higher, much higher frame rate. I think it's the greenery. It's There's just much, much fewer plants. The island has way too many fucking plants. I don't know if it's worth checking out these uh, archers, because they're so far away from our base as well that it would be really difficult to even try and tame one. What is the Fasolo then? It's a big, like, crocodile dude who's also shit level. And he's just... Oh, he's messing up a mantis. I love him. I... The only mod I have is... All right, okay, so one second. Let me let me, let me me sit down and I'll tell you. All right, so I have Bob's Tall Tales, which is not a mod. It's, a, it's an add-on. And the only mod I have is... Da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Uh... This. I have the creature management tool, which allows me to kill my own babies. That's it. That's all the mods I have. <laughs> this is so stupid. I've got all of my important shit with me. And I'm just, like, looking at the wyverns and, like, yes. Let the intrusive thoughts in. Why not acro? Uh, I didn't want to play with that many mods the first time I played ASA. But I suppose this isn't the first time I've played it anymore. I, I could add some mods if people wanted. I've, I've got nothing against adding more stuff, more cool stuff to the playthrough. I think there's no way on earth I outrun a wyvern. Like, it does, it's not happening, is it? So, this is a suicide run. Whatever I do here, if I do touch an egg, I die. This is so stupid. What am I doing? 
I got a flyer and immediately let the intrusive thoughts in. <laughs> it's like, yes, go to the wyvern nest. Do it. Right, so there are fasolas everywhere over here. That's kind of cool. I wonder if they're good. I mean, that one's getting absolutely diced up by mantises, but there are three mantises, so... Oh no, it's it might win. If it figures out how to turn around and defend itself. There we go, clever fasola. Egg, I see egg. <laughs> see an egg. <laughs> I see a fucking egg. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts. <laughs> They're calling to me. You can slow the wyvern with the goo. How do I do the goo? Oh, it's it's left click. Okay. The intrusive thoughts call to me. That's a lot of wyverns, like, directly under me, though. <laughs> I don't think we'd even pick it up. I don't think we'd even survive picking it up. I think there's too many around it. Let's see if there's a less guarded one. Just, just in case, there's a there might be a less guarded one. That one's pretty. Oh god, there's a wyvern right above me. There's a wyvern right above me. Uh, we need to sort of skedaddle a little bit, I think. There, that one. Have my bug lure the dragons away after grabbing the egg? I think it would go. It would still go after me, wouldn't it? I think they go after wherever the egg is. Like they go after whoever's inventory the egg is in. If poison is there, you won't make it. Yeah. There's a lot of wyverns over here. I mean, one thing we could do is we could just get the egg out of, like, the, the nest, out of the trench, and then we come back on our other... other bug. <laughs> and try and get it clear after that. Like, just get as far as we can and then come back on the other bug. If we perish, there's a poison wyvern there. Okay, so I've only actually seen that one egg. Hmm. And of course, this is scorched, so the levels are going to be dog shit. It carries on over here, yeah, yeah, I, I remember this. Why are this? Shit! We're gonna run out of stamina right above the nest. Oh, no! <laughs> this is terrible! At least he lands on the crystal and not in the lava. You're okay, little bug. You're okay, little bug. Just stay really quiet and really still. Aberration ASA graphics is going to look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm really looking forward to Aberration, although it might run even worse than the island. <laughs> okay, we're, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Okay. okay. We've seen a grand total of an egg. Just, just the egg. Just an egg. And I think we might be at the end of the trench. Oh no, there's potentially a little bit more trench. Yeah, there's a little bit more trench. Okay, well, I'll look just over here and see if... Hopefully there's more than one egg. Just the egg. An egg. Another egg would be nice. No. Right, so it looks like it's a case of we've got that one egg, that's our option, go for it or die. Or just don't. Go for it and die or just don't go for it. Okay. We'll go 
all the way to the end, and then we'll turn, come back along the other side of the trench so we can see the this wall, the wall that we've been like flying along the top of, until we get to the egg that we found, and then we'll try and grab it and make a run for it. Potentially more eggs will have spawned. It will run worse. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It will. Aberration will run worse than the island, which is really sad. Unless they keep... Unless they do do some big uh, increases to, like, stability of the game and stuff between now and then. Which they might, he says, hopefully. Potentially, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Come on, follow me over the cliff. Follow me over the cliff. Good scorpion. There we go. What you got for me? Oh! I like the pants. I'm a big fan of pants. Just to sort of like a general concept, I like pants. There we go. Desert pants. We are now less likely to burn to death. I mean, we're going to go piss off a wyvern, so like... <laughs> when we piss off the wyvern, we're, uh... We're going to die. Probably with fire. So, pants might not help us, but, you know, it's cool to have pants. Jesus, I forgot how long the Wyvern Trench is. It's huge. It's like a good third of the length of the map. That looks like an alpha. No, just a wild female one. Okay. Again, though, I don't see any more. I see lots of holes. Four eggs. But no eggs. Shit, I shouldn't have gone across. I'm managing my stamina absolutely terribly. There we go. Okay, I think we go back for that fire egg that we saw. I think I think that's our option. Potentially we'll see some more eggs as we fly back on the left-hand side now. We fly back on the opposite side. Potentially we'll see another egg. I would have preferred a lightning egg because they're just better. Lightning weapons are just better. In PvE. I'm sure in PvP it's the poison wyvern. And poor little fire wyvern just doesn't have a niche. But we will grab the egg that we saw. And we will die valiantly in the process. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of nooks and crannies. For eggs to spawn. But there aren't any, like, eggs spawning. Oh, shit. I see these two who are out of the... F and we can't cross over because of the... And we're going to get found. Oh, I'm going to get found here. I'm going to get... I'm going to rest here. Recover a little bit. Oh, crap. There's one right underneath us. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. I desperately don't like being here. Uh, a nest. A nest. A nest. I see a nest. If this thing turns out to be a rock golem... It's not. Is this? No. Okay, they're just rocks. They're just strangely placed rocks. Okay, that there. Hey, Rinny. That there might be our best spot. Genuinely might be our best spot. Might be our only chance. It's not going to happen. We all know it's not going to happen. We all know what's going to happen as soon as I touch this fucking egg. But we're going to try it, alright? Like, I barely have the stamina to get out of the fucking trench. That's how bad this little guy is. Oh, there's one right there, too. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Skadoople. It's... It's a 110 egg! No! It's a 110 egg! No! I'm dead! I'm so dead! <laughs> okay, okay, but, 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 there's a, a 110 egg now outside of the nest, right? Our entire thing now is we get that fucking egg, okay? That's, that's 
all we do now. That's everything. That is our life, is we get that egg. We got it out of the trench. Exactly, exactly. We got it out of the trench. Okay. Right, we need another saddle for these guys. We need another bug saddle. We need another bug saddle, and then we're good to go. We do not have enough hide for another bug saddle. Huh. We need hide. Alright, let's be quick. Let's be quick about this. We need 100 hide really quickly, Terrorbird. Let's do this shit. New life purpose, get egg. Indeed. If I get a wyvern egg today, I'm going to be so excited about life. And it's a 110 as well. That's amazing. That's as good as I could really expect on Scorched. With Scorched level distribution, I, I cannot complain about a 110 fire wyvern egg. I wonder if we can get over there on our Terror Bird. Like, hear me out. Okay, can, if we get over to the desert on our Terror Bird, we grab it and run on the Terror Bird. Because we're going to die. Whatever we pick it up with next, I think he's going to die. 100%. I don't think we can make it in one more trip. I think it's going to take a couple more sacrifices. So if we get over on the Terror Bird now while it's dark, while it's not uh, super sunny and hot... Max level is 150, but, um, so the level distribution on the island, Scorched, Extinction, Aberration, I think it's on all of them up until gen, it's just shit. Like, you're far more likely to get under 50 than you are to get over 50. So getting a, a level 100 plus is insane. Oh yeah, no, 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 it's, it's 180 for Wyverns, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Sorry, my bad. Even so, it's above 50% of the max level, which is... <laughs> I'm happy with. How much have we got? We got 60 hide. That's not enough. That's all. Yeah, it's just story, story maps up until the Genesis maps have really, really crap level distribution. So for a Wyvern... Anything above 100 is incredible. For everything else, anything above, like, 80, 90 is really good. Just so hard to get good levels. It's fucking annoying. Right. I really think... I really, really, really do think that we try this in two stages, okay? Uh, I've watched like the first episode and a half of the Ark show and then the website I was watching it off uh, It got taken off the website, so I haven't watched the rest of it yet <laughs> uh... But I found a new website with it on so I will watch it soon it's not on Paramount Plus in the UK yet. See, that's the problem, okay? Like, I would happily watch it on a legitimate website if it came out at the same time for us as it does for Americans. Because the Reddit is full of stuff about it, YouTube is full of clips of it, and it's frustrating to have to wait a month or more to avoid spoilers. Like, it's frustrating as hell. Hence me watching things like that on less than legal websites sometimes. Right, I'm going to try it on the Terror Bird. We're going to try and get our Terror Bird over to the Wyvern Trench, maybe. Yeah, I think this is potentially silly, but... We try it on the Bird first, maybe. Yeah, let's do it the other way around. Let's do Bird first, Terror Bird second. Where's the rest of the... Is that every single bit of hide? Surely not. That was every single piece of hide we had. Fuck, alright, we need more hide. They ruined Rockwell's character. They do... He does seem a bit... Pointlessly evil from the set first second of the show, yeah. Like, my understanding of Ark Law is not very good compared to a lot of other people, but I know that Rockwell is supposed... To, I mean, hell, 
the intro of this, the intro video for this map specifically says that Rockwell starts to go a bit loopy doop on this map. But on the show, he just is a maniacal villain instantly. And yeah, that did kind of throw me for a loop. I was a bit confused. That's a level 100 Merle Trumps. Maybe I should have done this. I should not have done this. That is not hide. That is danger. Parasol, you'll do. Yeah, it's not lore accurate. I'm going to have to kill this Parasol really quickly while avoiding getting stomped by Morella Trumps. Alright, bye Morella Trumps. I'm just going to leave you guys because you're angry and scare me. Yeah, they start off as friends, they work together and have respect for one another as scientists, don't they? That's like a big part of his character development is that he's someone she respected and then he goes loopy. But no, show is just, he's mental from the beginning. I mean, he's David Tennant, so he does a great job of it, but still. I think I just have to fight them. It's a bit vexing, but don't really have a choice. Why am I dying? I'm freezing to death. Wonderful, I forgot about that factor. Cool beans. So running across the desert at night would not have worked. Let's try and not die. Really? Really? Am I still going to die? Shoes? Don't have enough fiber. I'm stood next to two fires! Oh, that one's not on. That explains things. Ah, there we go. We just froze to death. Cool. I think I didn't put it up last time, so I think that's two deaths now. I think that's ten deaths. Max has got a good point. You can aggro them away. I think the the reason I'm not super keen on aggroing them away, Max, is that I don't think I'd survive aggroing them. Like, I think the second I, I aggro a wyvern, I die immediately, so... The wyvern egg is waiting for me. I know! Hide armor does not keep me warm enough, though. It just doesn't. I don't have enough hide. time is it? It's... Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's really, really, really cold. Like, I can make a... water skin. I can... We've done the hide armor thing before, and it just doesn't keep me warm. Which is somewhat vexing, but it is what it is. We can't really do anything about it. I think... I'm completely out of fiber, which is a bit concerning. Yeah, I'm completely out of fiber. Let me make a sickle. Hide wood and metal. More hide. Everything. Oh no, I've got fiber here. Nice. Well, we will be out of fire. It's soon, so that works. There we go. Handheld torch does not increase hypothermia. We've tested it. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, it does. The ones that you hold do. The ones that you put on the saddle don't. I remember. I remember we, us testing this on a stream once. Yeah, the ones that you hold in your hand do increase your uh, heat. So that's actually a really good shout. It's the ones that you put on the saddle because you can put it on a saddle as like a skin which is a really cool feature but that doesn't actually help but holding it in your hand should help do i not have any fucking flint no i don't because i used it all to make yeah 
We used all the flint and then we lost our pickaxe. Uh, no, I don't only play single player. I, I run a server um, quite regularly. We play Ark servers. We're playing one. Our next Ark server starts on like the 10th of May because I'm moving house at the moment, so I can't play on the ser uh, on a server. So we're starting a Ark server on the 10th of May. We'll be starting ASE, Ark Survival Ascent uh, Evolved, and we'll be playing on the island, and then we'll be moving up through. It just doesn't keep me warm. Nothing keeps me warm. I'm surrounded by fire. I'm gonna freeze to death again. Fuck's sake. Time to shout the Discord. Yeah, I mean, if you want to link, link the Discord. Mrs. Community Manager or Miss Community Manager, I suppose. Why can't I get hot? Look, if I lie in the fire, I'm in the fire and I am still freezing to death. If I leave this area, is this area colder than other places? Like if I just go up into the hills a little bit, do I warm up? Minus 17. Minus 17. Minus three. Doesn't help, but fuck's sake. Hey. I got no level ups either, otherwise. Right, let's try and get some hide really, really, really quickly and see if we can't maybe make some hide armor and survive with that. Because the longer we wait, the more chance of our egg despawning. This is a 110 Morella Trops. Fuck. Come here. Please perish. Oh, it doesn't matter what level it is because it'll run away from me because it's a single lone Morella Trops and therefore a coward. We're going to die again. I'm playing on the desert map, and so far I have died more due to cold than heat. This is somewhat vexing now, I'm not going to lie. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we die. Cool. <laughs> and I spawn and I'm instantly freezing. Oh. Fuck my life. What do I do? <laughs> hide. I think I can make like a piece of hide armor. I can make a piece of hide armor. A piece. This does nothing. <sighs> I just have to wait. I just have to wait for the temperature to fix itself. Minus two degrees C now. It's getting a bit warmer, I think. Potentially, if I put all my clothes on now. No, what if I hold my torch? Still no! Right. Minus one degree, it's got a little bit warmer. Let's make another piece of hide armor and see if that helps, and then we can set off, hopefully. Oh, there we go, there we go, we're not freezing to death anymore, right. Take this with us, just in case we get too hot. Let's go. We're gonna go on the Terrabo first. Shit, it's not marked on our map anymore! How do I make death number seven marked again? 
There we go. I click it. That's beautiful. All right. 3,000 meters. That's not practical without a flyer, is it really? All right. Let's get the flyer first then. Um, saddle. It's no practical without the flyer, unfortunately. Gonna have to do it on the flyer, and then we'll use the Terror Bird for if that goes wrong. Which it will, because there's no way on earth we're gonna manage to pick that egg up that close to the nest and that close to the trench and still escape. That's just not happening. <laughs> But, potentially. What if we bring a sleeping bag with us and place the sleep... <sighs> mm, no, it wouldn't give us any benefit, would it? Because then we'd just be naked and alone in the desert and that doesn't really help. <laughs> We just got to get to this and then fly over to the death and then hope for the best. Uh, we found a 110 fire wyvern egg. Kura. And uh, we kind of died <laughs> after finding it. So, yes. We're going to try and recover it because we've got another flyer tamed here. So we're going to get on this second flyer, which is a nice level 80 and is in a rock. Like, in a fucking rock. Oh, I love arc. Never change. I now have to break my team out of a goddamn stone. Huh. <sighs> Because why would my butterfly not be encased in rock? <laughs> no, I don't know how the imprinting works. I, I had a fiddle and I couldn't really do anything with it. Um, it's set to like the lowest it can be. So I don't know if it's something to do with growth or anything. It's just, I, I guess I just have to imprint a ton on things that I want to keep, which is fine. Once we've got the cryopods, but at the moment is a pain in the ass. But I suppose we won't be breeding until we got cryopods anyway, so. So we can make it work. Fuck's sake, we're freezing to death again. Sorry, I keep forgetting to turn up my deaths. If I, if I die and I don't turn up the death number, just, just yell at me. It's fine. That's definitely 11. Can I get my butterfly? I'm starving. Cool. Butterfly! Flutterby! There we go. I'm really sorry, I changed scene there and I don't know how or why. I'm really, really sorry about that. I don't know what button I pressed. That shouldn't have happened. I apologize profusely for that. I don't know why that happened. I don't, I didn't press anything. Why would it? Oh, I'm so bad with technology, I swear. I'm so bad with technology sometimes. It's software, hardware I'm fine with. Like, I can, I can take PCs apart and put them back together and stuff, and I, I find all that fun. I can fix hardware issues, you know. Like, I, I upgraded my old PC, I can, I can build a PC, but software stuff, programming things, I'm so bad at it. I'm basically a granddad. It's actually kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I 
I'd love to find another... Um, oh shit, that's going to be annoying. I'd really love to find another explorer, no. Pego, no! Fuck you, Pego. Yeah, if we could find an explorer now and just give him a couple of levels, that would be fantastic. I know there's some over by the Wyvern Trench, but like, uh, I feel like we've wasted so much time already. Feels risky to keep fucking around when that egg is on a despawn timer. And I don't know how long the despawn timer for Scorched is. Oh, Gallimimus. See, a Gallimimus could have actually worked really well for this. They're super fast. It's not a terrible idea. I don't, I've got nothing to t hold it or trap it with, though, right now. And again, we're on a timer, so just scared. Terrible, it's cool. Keep our eye out for structures. Any structure. Anything that could potentially give us levels. Oh, wolves! Hi, wolves! No, you're not going to eat me. Leave me alone. Why does it rain so much? On what the f... What was that? It was a butterfly. It just moved really quickly. Why does it rain so much on scorched earth, the desert? Right. I get I get some people like how green it is. I get some people like that it's a bit more lush and alive. That's fine, okay? I get it. Not all deserts are barren wastelands of doom and death. Understandable. But it rains a lot. Now, I'm not an expert, but I thought, like, the whole definition of a desert was to do with precipitation. And lack thereof. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I could have sworn... Please, please have a explorer note for me here that I haven't already got. Yes! Badoop! As absurd as the deathworms are, I. Deathworms! Shai Halud. Up that stamina! 300 stamina now! Wow, that's beefy stamina compared to what it was. <laughs> that's, I mean, it is a lot better than what it was, fair, to be fair. Okay. We are in fog. Fog and rain are not what I want from Scorched Earth. Right, we're 400 meters away from where we died, so we're almost at the Wyvern Trench. I mean, if you look at the... Yeah, we're basically at the Wyvern Trench, and all I can see is fucking rain. I can't really attempt it like this, can I? Because I can't see anything, but the AI can. Like, I think I'm too close to the to the trench right now. I think I'm dangerously close to the trench, considering my visibility. I think I need to be, like, back here. Maybe flap around a little bit and see if we spot a ruin or something, because there's no way I'm going near the trench when I, I can't see shit. Not a ruin. It's just a peak of rock. I I don't know what you typed, but I think it censored you. <laughs> I think it just censored you. Oh, the fog's clearing. There we go. I do love this basin here, actually. Like, that would be... This would be a really, really, really cool place for a base. This basin is really nice looking. The only problem is it is slightly close to, you know, fire worms of death and destruction. Ah, hello. 
My god, I wish I could level speed up. But I want to play ASA as it's supposed to be played, and they don't want speed leveling up. Ah, dot fog dot zero. Ah. Right. That's a ton of stamina. I don't think leveling health up would have done anything. So, stamina leveling up is as basically as much as I can get done right now. So, we died here. There are wyverns above where we died. Like a lot of wyverns above where we died. These are the wyverns that aggro to us, I think, when we got the egg. I think we might want to wait for them to disperse somewhat. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try that. Oh shit, no I'm not, not while I'm this close. Let me fly up and I'm gonna try the command and see what the world looks like without it. <laughs> see if it changes anything else. Just because I'm really curious. Ah oh, dot fog dot zero. It's done very little. Okay. I'm so nervous. They're so close still. Like, there's so many of them and they're so fucking close. Like, this one here will get us if we go there. No question about it. We can get to our body and not touch the egg. That's very, very close to us. Uh... There's one on either side, super, super close, and one above. I just... Mm. So nervous. They're not aggroing to anything. They're not doing anything. There, that one's leaving a little bit. And that one's going over there. I think now's the time. I think we go now. They're all cut. Yeah, yeah, they've scattered a little bit. I think we go now. I see that one right there. Okay, what do we want from this? The pants and the egg. Yeah! Wow, we did not make that far at all. We did not get far. Oh. <laughs> no! We got absolutely nowhere! Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Like, legitimately nowhere. We made no difference there at all. <laughs> it's so depressing. That's both of our flyers gone. Um. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Attempt number three. Placing a sleeping bag and then aggroing the way wyverns the opposite way might work, yeah. I think we take some fiber with us and I think we make some sleeping bags.
Right, I'm gonna go grab my... Yeah, we got it. We made like a 200 meter difference, which is not enough. <laughs> not enough at all. I'm gonna go grab the Terror Bird, and we're gonna see if we can get over there with the Terror Bird, and maybe like place a bunch of uh, sleeping bags. What about the milk, though? If it's a high enough level, it might not need milk. We have growth boosted, but once we've got the egg, it's pretty easy to tame, uh, to kill. Sorry, sorry, let me, let me refresh. Once we've got the egg, I think it's fairly straightforward to trap a female wyvern and knock it out. It's much less of a challenge, I think. I think the egg is the biggest challenge, and I'd be happy to just have the egg. Like, just having the egg would make me happy. I just want egg. Egg make me happy. Egg make happy. I can't find my way around. There we go. Hmm. I think the wyverns are just so fucking quick. Without the ability to level up speed, it really is kind of difficult to just get her anywhere close to them. Uh, where is my terror bird? Mark terror bird on the map. There we go, terror bird. But if we can get the terror bird, if we can head in that general direction, if we can make a few sleeping bags with the terror bird, distract them with your powers. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's a good plan. Uh, we might need to tame more flyers. We might need to tame more bugs. I don't know. Our crossbow's over there and our arrows are all over there, though. Hmm. They don't ever lose aggro, do they? So we can't, like, build a box and go and hide in the box. That wouldn't work. Because they don't lose aggro. If we've taken the egg and they're nearby, they're aggro to us. It's di it's only distance that gets us away from them, right? So... If we want to... Great, I'm starving to death. Um, I'm going to have to kill something and grab some meat. Hmm... Her. We want to do this. I want to see how far we can get on for. So they aggro as soon as the thing changes inventory, right? That's what they do. They aggro as soon as the egg changes inventory. Do they aggro to what the egg changes inventory to? two. So like, if I put it in my tame and then whistled my tame to move would that work? And then like, whistled my tame to run away would they aggro to me? Would they come after me? Or would they come after the, go after the tame? Probably just both. I don't think the tame would get far enough away. I think they'd just kill both of us. So I don't think that works. <laughs> I don't think it's a great idea for me to waste my tappy, uh, my my terror bird doing this, but we're almost there now, so I'm kind of going to. Terror bird is quite fast on land, but not that fast. <laughs> We could just go and get all my shit back, like my arrows and my crossbow. We could just do that and leave the egg for now and like see how long the bag has to despawn. That's actually not a terrible idea, right? What we could do is we could get the saddle, the Limantria saddle, get the get the get everything other than the egg, right? Check how long the egg has to despawn. Then go and tame a but a, a nearby moth. Put some sleeping bags down and just like suicide in with a couple of moths. That that's a potential strategy. 
because every time we suicide in it resets the bag on the on the egg and moves us a little bit further away from from the from the canyon because there's butterflies everywhere here for example like i've seen like three or four here obviously there's uh evil stuff as well but Hmm, I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. Because we're only like 400 meters away now. No, 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 no. Don't you dare fucking kill me when I'm this close. Eight million Pegos. Give me my fat fiber back. Give me my fiber, you little sh Die. There we go. Storage box and transfer. Oh, no, not again. Oh, wild dodging. I'm dodging it. I'm dodging it. It's still aggro to me. No, there's a wolf. No, there's a wolf. I'm going to die. No. <laughs> Fuck you! Ugh. Right. We need a bird. We need a bird. I'm I'm just I'm throwing everything away here. All of like the careful time and energy and everything. We're just throwing it all away here now, right? So let's just stop. Stop being sillies. Alright? Stop being a silly. Okay. We need a we need another flyer. We need another fly. It's that simple. Okay, so we need... We need a hatchet. Alright, we need our crossbow. Pick. No, I think we've got a pick. Hatchet. Where's where's the pick I made? I made a pick. Did I take it with me? Did I lose both metal picks? Am I that bright? I think I might be. That's... It looks like the caches have got at least half an hour or so on them, so we're fine. Right. Let's go hatchet. Let's go crossbow. Let's go pick. Right. We're going to just do this carefully now. We're going to slow down a little bit. We're going to split all this up. We're going to take him. We're going to kill something, and we're going to get some hide. We're going to get another Limantria, another bug, and go rescue our Pteranodon, uh, our Terrabird, with the bug. It's fine. There's no need to rush madly into things and die multiple times. It doesn't need to happen like that. It's okay. Oh, he's so bad at killing things because he doesn't... <laughs> he stops still to attack. It's fine, the Parasaur's stupid. The Parasaur stops still and lets himself be attacked. Nice, there we go, we can gather some hide. Okay, we kill a couple of these, gather a ton of hide, make some bowler... Make some, uh... Oh god, he's fast. Please stay, please get stuck, please get stuck, please get stuck. Yes! Make some bowler, make another saddle for the Limantria. Go find another Limantria. Oh, he's fluffy, he's got fur. I like Persona's idea of sticking it in a box so that we know it's safe in terms of, like, time. I think that's a really good shout. Right, I think that's enough hide. I think we can make ourselves another saddle now and some bola. <sighs> okay. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Smacked him in the face. Right. So. Saddle for the Lamantria. Some bowler. Some trank arrows. We go knock out at least one Lamantria. And then we should be okay. Like, from there, we should be fine. I think. Potentially. We'll see. <sighs> okay, let's grab that. Pick. Right. Uh, I think we need some stone. What do I need for a doed saddle? Fiber. Ooh, 200 hide. So that's basically all the hide I just gathered. That's... Mm, it's worth it, I think. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Let's kill something else then. Um... Tempted to kill the 110 Morella Tropsis that I've got just for their hide. Just because they're here and it's kind of easy. Just need a piece of wood for the creature management tool. Yeah, I think we do that. I don't think they're worth keeping. They're only level 110. They're not very good. I think we kill them. Be honest, this one's pretty shit as well. Right, cool. Cold. There we go. Right, let's gather the hide. Yeah, this was worth it. <laughs> oh, dear. Then we need to go find a bug. We need to go find a moth, a Limantria. Why did I need stone again? I wanted stone. Something. I can't remember. Oh, for bowler. I wanted stone for bowler. So I made a doed saddle. <laughs> Let's grab the doed then. We refreshed the timer on the bag by dying fairly recently, maybe. Rip Morella Trops is indeed. They died for a good cause. Okay, they died for a good cause. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The sacrifice might be in vain, but we'll see. Look at my legs sticking out. Is that new? I don't remember the rider's legs sticking out as he rolled. Photo mode. Look at that. <laughs> what sort of fucking horror show is that? <laughs> Makes it all worth it. <laughs> Oh gosh, that is the funniest fucking thing. Yeah, I'm taking screenshots, you can probably hear. <laughs> that fills me with so much joy. Oh, okay. Little legs. <laughs> Little legs. <laughs> right, that's gathering so much sand and... Uh stone now that's really nice we don't need to worry about sand and stone anymore rock and stone there we go <laughs> oh that's tickled me okay let's make some bowler 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 a bowl of bowler like <laughs> Nine bowl. I mean, yeah, why not? Why not make nine bowler? Nothing wrong with that. Better to have too many bowler than not enough bowler. Arrows. Uh, narcotics. Let's make some more of those. Uh, I don't think we have any more meat anywhere, actually. That's not got any cooked meat in it. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. So we got the bowler. So 
some spoiled meat here. This is the regular character, I think. Like, he's not... He's just normal. Is he tall? I think he's just normal. Look, I just modeled him after me, okay? This is this is an accurate representation of how Yao looks. Alright, so I, I just modeled him after me. <laughs> uh, right. We've got nine bowler. We've got... Like, 30-something Trank Arrows, which isn't great, but I don't think we can get that many more. Let's put everything else away that we're not taking with us. So we'll want a... We'll want some clothes, of course. And we'll want a water skin. I wonder if a lucky hat would help. I think a lucky hat would help. What do we think? I think a lucky hat would definitely make this go better. Cow built like a green card confirmed. Indeed. <laughs> uh, you keep pumping fortitude since why not? Yes, we have a lucky hat. All right, this might help. It can't hurt anyway. Uh, more narcotics, yes. Arrows, sweet. Right. I think this is enough stuff to get ourselves a Limantria. So let's take the Morellotrops over in that sort of general direction. In fact, what we'll do is we'll head, we'll get the Morellotrops and we'll head towards our last death because that's where we know the terror bird is and that's where we know at least some Lamantria are. Actually, before we go, let's make a spyglass. Let's make one more spyglass. I think we've got the resources for it. Yes. We're going fully equipped. Five sleeping bags as well. Why not? What happened to the wyvern egg? We're, it's still over there. We've died many times trying to get it, so we're going to make another attempt now. This is why I'm fully equipping myself with sleeping bags and spy glasses and everything I can get my hands on. Right, I think we're good. Let's go. We got sleeping bags, we got spy glass, we got trank arrows, we got bowler, we got a morella trops. We're going to get ourselves a bug between here and there. We're going to rescue the terror bird. It's going to be great. We're going to manage this shit. We go along the river and then turn up. <laughs> if we can rescue the terror bird and get a couple of birds knocked out and a box just in case, actually not a terrible idea. Let's quickly do that. That should be enough wood, and we should get some thatch from this tree here. We should be able to go boop, go boop. Three storage boxes, that should do. Right. Let's just double check everything we've got on us. It's it's now a, it's a rescue mission for the terror bird, and uh, we need to tame um, another flyer mission, and uh, we need the egg mission. It's it's everything. We're just it's been a bit of a mess, and we must recover from this mess. But I'm hoping the sleeping bags will help somewhat. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we got 2,000 meters to cross, and if it turns into nighttime, which it's not going to do anytime soon, actually, thank God. I did fall to a micro raptor and a wolf and a saber all at once. Yes, it was somewhat terrifying and horrible. Thankfully, it's morning, though. 
So we should be fine as long as it doesn't do any sort of super heat event. Which means, of course, it's going to do a super heat event. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a mission, is it? It's just play the game. Wow, does the snake take critical hits? I think it does. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the whole critical hit thing. I think it just effectively removes smaller teams as viable options. Like, no matter what, uh, no matter how many mutations or breeding you do, they're just not going to be that viable because they take crit damage. Let me just grab a drink. It's odd. It, it was an odd choice. Like, I'm not against it exactly, I suppose. Things getting hit in the head does, you know, tend to do more damage, but at the same time, it's just confusing. Here's, here's my thing, right? If you are going to introduce Tames doing crit damage to one another, everything should have a critical hit multiplier spot. So, like, Rexes should also take critical hit damage. Yeah, um, yeah, Quace. So, how it works is, you know how if you have a Raptor Bullard and you shoot it in the body, it does, let's say, 100 damage, but you shoot it in the head, it does 200 damage? Now, if you have a Rex and you bite that raptor on the body and it does 200 damage. If you bite it on the head, it does 400 damage. So there used to be critical hits for like projectile weapons, but now there's critical hits for just everything. And like I said, I think that's fine as long as everything can be critical hit, critically hit, but not everything can. Again, Rexes don't have a headshot multiplier. They can't be headshot, so... Kind of wild. Right, we need to get our stamina back. We're like halfway there. This is going quite well. We're getting there quite quickly. We need to tame a moth though. And we did see some moths over here. I know they're, they take a little while to tame, but with the Morella Trops it should be okay. I can't believe flipping micro raptors. There, there's a there's a, a moth over there. I saw one. Just for a second. There, 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 there. It is a level 10. That is honestly worth it because it'll take two seconds to it should take less time to tame, so I think that's worth it. Yeah, so you see how I do 95 damage to this? There you go. There was there was a critical hit. I hit him on the head and I did 200 and something damage. It's kind of insane. This bug is not landing. What level is this bug? This bug is the level 10 one. Okay, yeah, so we do want to knock this one out if we can. Just because it's going to be an easy tip. What is that behind me? Oh, it's just another Morella Trops. Okay. Uh, I have such nervousness about Bola. What is that one up there? Level 5! That's even worse! Come on, land your little shit, please. I don't want to... There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There are no... There's never been Pteranodons on... Oh no, you little fucker! No! Why would you do this to me? Stupid terror bird! Uh, stupid terror bird! Alright, let's just keep heading over towards the... the ter our terror bird then. Let's just keep the rescue mission alive at least.
Yeah, there, there are. There's never been terror, but uh, pteranodons on scorched. Unfortunately, I do prefer them. They're they're much better. Like starting flyer. Potentially with mods, yeah, that would work. That would spawn them in, I think. A terror bird might just die when we load it in, like a wolf and a saber cat on our terror bird might be more than it can handle. Let's hopefully we can rescue it. Uh, I would, I would suicide it in. I would suicide the terror bird in at this stage, to be honest, just to try and get the egg a bit further out from the wyverns and to refresh its uh, spawn, refresh its de decay timer. Don't do it! Don't fucking do it! Why? Look, and then I headshot you. And then I headshot you again. And then I headshot you again and then you're dead. Silly dragon. I kind of like how on Scorched Earth there is there are flying monstrosities, like flying reptiles with wings that breathe fire, okay? But they're not the ones called dragons. Something else is called dragon. Shit, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. This is bad. This is acceptable. Look, your child dies as well. I hope you understand this. I'm not sparing it because it's little. It dies too. If I can find it after this. Kitten! 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 Look! Where is it? One second, one second, one second. There's a kitten. Kitten! Look at the little kitten! Little kitten! <laughs> it's so cute! I saw it running around and I was like, ah! See kitten. Right, there's another... I see another moth over there, but this is a really dangerous place. There's a lot of, a lot of saber cats and stuff around here and wolves. Taming a moth here might be a pain in the ass, but we'll see. Basically, I think we'll set up a forward camp over here somewhere. Once we've rescued, there's another moth. Oh, look at this moth city. Uh, dragon is an overarching term. It has no... Oh, that's a really good moth. Dragon has no real meaning. If you ask my wife, who's Chinese, what a dragon is, she'll say it's got no wings. She thinks dragons with wings are silly. Yep, I told you the terror bird would die. A wyvern is just a subset of dragon. So, wyverns are dragons, but dragons aren't necessarily wyverns. It's like all huskies are dogs, but not all dogs are huskies. That's kind of how I see it. I really don't think we can get this guy out. No, we can't get this guy out in one go, because we didn't get the level 81 out in one go, did we? So we just need to keep it. We need to keep following him and see if we can bowler him again. If we can bowler him, I think we'll be fine. But he's he's got a bit of distance on us there. Shit. It's not like we can chase him off our team, is it? I see him. I see him. I still see him. But he's got some... I'm stuck, and he's got a heck of a distance on us now. But he's 1-2-5. I want him so much. I think we might have lost him. Right. Yeah, I think we've lost it. Is that a baby wolf? No, he's right here. He's he's not aggro to us anymore. We can bowl him. He's in a hole. Which 
She's making it very hard to hit him with anything. I could get off my team. I think I have to. Right, let's go. This might be enough to knock him out. We can get him knocked out in this hall. That would be incredible. Shit. Of course. He's out, 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 he's out. Yeah, I know I could do it on foot, and what I'm thinking of doing is now that I've got this guy knocked out, I'm thinking of doing a little bit of a death run, because it's only 400 meters away. And seeing if we can get any distance, see if we can get any distance on it. That's kind of what I'm thinking of doing now. So, like, what we could do, for example, is we could put, we could drop everything from this guy, right? We could put all of our stuff in him. Shit, Microraptor. Don't destroy my team. I'm on the Morella Trops. This is okay. This is acceptable. Right, yeah. What I'm thinking is we could put something down. We could put basically like a forward base down here. So we could go... Box... Sleeping bag. And then just dump all of our stuff into here. It's 400 meters. If we can make 400 meters naked, maybe. Right, so we strip. And let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can make 400 meters naked. Terra bird. Bonnie dragon. We need to be careful. So some stuff will attack us. Bonnie dragons are one of those things. Terra birds will. Terra birds are fast enough to actually get us. Bonnie dragons aren't. Terabird. Ah, uh, it's actually 700 meters. Puppy! Shit. Terabird. Okay, nope, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. This place is too dangerous. This place is too dangerous. I've made terrible mistakes. I've made bad choices with life. Oh, no! I've made bad choices with my life. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So we can't do it naked. That's just not happening. That's just not happening. We need to tame more... We need to tame more bugs. This is that simple. No three ways about it. No! Why? You little shit! But why would you do this? Taming effectiveness 43%. He's absolutely ruined the taming effectiveness of that. It's fine. We just need to tame more of them. It's fine. We just... We, quantity, not quality here right now. That's what we're doing. We just go quantity, not quality. Let's get everything onto my inventory. Let's get myself fully dressed again. Let's kill this saber tooth. Micro raptors are the worst thing. Whoever put micro raptors in arc, you're an evil genius. No. Absolute. Mm. 
Okay, so it has to be shit ones, because the good ones just die. This is the worst experience ever. Oh my god. <sighs> and now they're behind me, which I actually really struggle with. A micro raptor, no! No, come here, you're not escaping. You're not fucking escaping, come here. There's no escape. There we go, micro raptor dead. Okay. Okay. Right. I think it was death 10. I think it's death 10 that we need. So I think we just died again, so let's do a plus. Wait, arc tracks how many times I've died? I think. So arc thinks I've died like 12 times, but I think I've died like 15 times. Have I put too many deaths on? Because that would be 12 deaths. I've potentially put too many deaths on the counter, but we'll see. Okay. I think it's time to try it the really stupid way of just die a bunch. Because this clearly isn't working. Like, it's just not working. It just isn't In tribe logs, let me see. It doesn't tell me how many times... Oh! Does it tell me all of my deaths? I don't think it does. Oh yeah, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... So it should be 13 deaths, I think. So yeah, I've put too many on. Ah! Boop, boop. Let's just do that. <laughs> I have died less times than I thought. Right, we're going to try and go up and around these cliffs over towards death 10. If I see a dire wolf, I might knock it out just because we can ride it without a saddle. What level is this? Level 55. I'd have to make the saddle for it as well, though. That's the problem. I'd have to craft a saddle for the Limantria. Which I don't think is happening. I'm going to see if there's anything special in this loot drop here for us. Oh, Jesus. It's getting attacked from behind. We just can't really cope with it. Yeah, we're just going to get picked off here. And now I'm stuck, which is quite interesting. Oh, I'm very over encumbered. He can't attack, he's stuck, no. <laughs> you you rescued me. You knocked me up onto the cliff. <laughs> now what you gonna do? Now I can defend myself. Fuck you all. Stompy doesn't actually do more damage and it's slower. It just has a better chance of hitting the crit. So on like raptors and uh, saber cats and die wolves, it's really good. But terror birds don't have a crit location for some unknown reason. Terror birds heads are as vulnerable as their toes. The 95, 95. But the cat over here, for example. Boom, 200. 
because it has a better chance of hitting the crit. It's all very strange. And I lost my chance at the loot. Cool. Right, so what we might want to do here is just run down there, die, and refresh the... Uh, refresh the cooldown on this. Yeah, the attacks are picking up a ton of berries and I'm getting over encumbered. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I don't know if I can actually get over there from here. I'd have to, like, get up here. And I don't think I can. No. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to have to go back a little bit. It refreshes the bag cooldown if I pick it up and die, because it's just a fresh bag, technically. So, yeah. But we're not in a position where we can actually get down to where we need to be. We need to be up on this mountain and then around. I'm thinking we do knock that Lamantria out, though. It's right here. And we could put a sleeping bag next to it. What just yelled at me? There you go. Of course. Bye. Yeah, I think I think we do. Okay, so what I'm thinking, right, is we get this Lamantria knocked out. Put a sleeping bag down next to it. Put all the taming stuff in it. And hopefully our death suicide run will... Refresh the bag. <laughs> yes, my dino should be better at climbing vertical walls. I agree. We need a Thyla. That's what we need. Oh, he just died. He just flat out died. Okay, cool. Well, that failed miserably, didn't it? Okay, plan. <laughs> this stream, every time I make a plan, it goes wrong. Without fail. Okay, I give up. We're just gonna suicide it. It's it's okay. That death count's gonna go brrr in a minute. It's gonna go sky high, I tell you. Oh, another one! Is this my redemption? Level 10! See, I'm shit with bowler. I cannot aim bowler for the fucking life of me. That's why I made a bunch of them. Ah, got you, you little bastard. Oh, cool beans. It's a, it's a super heat. I feel like one more arrow is gonna kill it. There we go! See, look at that. I had a good intuition for once. Right. Let's try... a run. Because we're burning up anyway. Like, we're dying anyway. Because of the heat. Like, it just doesn't matter. We're going to die here. So let's just try a run. There's got to be a way up and down. But I don't think it's this. For fuck's sake. Unless through here... Up. Oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm gonna die before I even get there, aren't I? It's, it's 200 meters away and I'm gonna die before I can get there. I can't get over this rock. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I can get over the mountain. Alright. Um... Shit, Saber Cat, shit, Saber Cat, shit, Saber Cat has not seen me actually. Oh, hello. Something's seen me. No, you little shit, I'm so close. Fuck you, cat. <sighs> Do we try it once more or. Do we wait for the bug? Like, we could spawn over here. Okay. And wait for our bug to tame and then teleport over there and pick up our bug. That might be an option. <laughs> Bowlers! Yeah, if I'd brought some bowlers with me, that might have worked. That's actually a great shout. Okay, we're gonna wait for the bug. I am throwing everything I have at this egg, and I don't even know if I can, like, technically look after it yet. It's, it's a bit silly of me. Thirty four percent. I think we're out of all resources over here. Like, I don't think I can even go and try and tame another bug on this end. I think I'm just out of resources here. Yeah. Kinda just messing this up, I think. I, 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 I had two flyers, and I don't think I needed to try for an egg. And I think trying for an egg was potentially a really stupid thing to do. But we've done it now, so we can't really go back on it, can I? Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're doing it. Fuck it. I don't care. Bowlers is a good shout. Bowlers. Box. Right. We did find a way up this hill. We did. It exists. Oh, there's terror birds up there now. Cool. They're new. Horrifying. And I think we might have avoided them. All right, there's another one. There's another terror bird there. There's a bunch of stuff around here, actually. I wonder if we go up. I haven't used that sleeping bag up, I don't think, because I teleported, didn't I? don't think it uses the sleeping bag up when you teleport to it. I really hope not. Are right, we going to go down on this side? Is it that death there, really? Shit, that's awful if it is. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to get to that? No, that's absolutely dreadful. What the hell? I could clear this out with the Morella Trops, but there's no way. There's no way I get to that, is there? Oh, they're all aggroed on me. Cool. Actually, one second, that might work. Everyone follow me over here. 
Right, okay, we moved two of them. What? It's used up. The sleeping bag is used up. Why is the sleeping bag used up when you teleport to it? <laughs> Why is the sleeping bag used up when you teleport to it? Why? No, no, man. Fuck off. Really? Well, that's absolutely heartbreaking. I didn't know that happened. I think we've lost the egg. I'm not going to lie. I think we've lost the egg. Fuck me. Beds remain. Yeah, I should have taken a bed. Fuck me. I bet the egg's gone by now. Dude, like, I don't even... Like, I can't even get to my Morellotrops. There's no way the Parasaur gets me there alive. No way whatsoever. If we can get to the Morellotrops, we'd be fine. But there's no way that this Parasaur survives that journey at all. No way. Fuck. Uh, the pain. Um, <laughs> I gotta hide because I've got no kit. All of my kit is at the Morella Trops. <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm gonna try and get to the Morella Trops on the Parasite. I'm gonna try it. All right, I think it fails miserably. Let's be honest with you. Let's be honest here. It, it fails miserably, but we're gonna try it. Just because why the fucking hell not? What have we got to lose at this point other than more sanity? <laughs> What's sanity anymore? Uh... Uh... Right. Just go in a god dang straight. The Paris are so slow. No, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. We've lost the egg and we've lost all of our stuff. We're back to square one, I think. Fuck. Parasol raw scares small and medium creatures. That's actually a point. That is actually a point. All right. We've got three kilometers. We've got to travel three kilometers through the desert on a parasol. <laughs> not gonna work all right so sunk cost fallacy is where you've invested so much time and effort or money into something that you can't give up even though you know you're failing even though you know it's bad for you it's like it's like if you go to vegas or something you, you waste two thousand pound two thousand dollars on on blackjack table you think, oh, I've put 2,000 in already. What's another 100? What's another 200? What's another 300? What's another 500? Oh, well, I've put 2,500 in. What's another few hundred? And it just keeps going. And and that's what's happening here. We are watching in live action the sunk cost fallacy play out. Because that egg is gone. We all know it's gone. The egg is fucking gone. I am dying here of, of heat. I'm getting heat stroke. So I can't, I'm not even going to be able to make it on the parasol. I need to turn around. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I really want my parasol back. My parasol? No, I really want my Morella chops back. But I can't get to it. 
I don't have the resources to tame a flyer. So I can't get over there by flying. I'm going to have to accept that the egg is gone and that the two flyers we tamed are dead. <sighs> okay, fine. You know what? It's okay. It's cool. I can cope with this problem. I'm a mature adult. I understand how to deal with loss and frustration. I'm not going to throw my keyboard out the window. Not again. It's fine. We are just going to have to cope. So, we got no hide. We cannot make a spyglass. Hide is just non-existent for us right now. Let's get some clothes on first. Can't make a crossbow. Oh, we can't. We potentially can make a crossbow, actually. I think a naked run ends with me dying. From this distance, a naked run ends with me dying. I'm like 99% sure on that. What we could do is let's see if let's see what level this guy is first just out of curiosity 90 he's actually potentially helpful right i've got an idea let's deliberately die let's ruin our beautiful death counter that's actually quite high so it's really not ruining it by just deliberately dying so we're gonna die and we're gonna spawn a bit closer come here do it do it do the job do what you were born to do! End me! Ugh. <laughs> that was quite dramatic. Okay. Then we're gonna spawn... ...here, which is as close as I think we can spawn. It spawned us in the fucking river! It spawned me so far away. This isn't much closer, it spawned- I'm still 2,000 kilometers away. 2,000 kilometers? Jesus. I'm still two, two kilometers away. You know what? Fine. Okay. I accept this. I'm gonna run at the blue the blue thing, and the blue thing might hold our salvation. Since we can't even turn left anyway because there's bloody cliffs in the way. We'll run to the blue thing. We'll probably get eaten by a capper on the way. I was hoping that spawning nearer to... I was hoping that spawning near to the Morella drops would give us, like, the ability to get there. But I don't think it works like that. It, it's... Oh, there! There, we can turn left there. Nice. A fluffy hat! Shit! Okay. We are immediately out of water. We've literally just left the water and we are immediately out of water. Bollocks. I need to get back to the water. But there are ants fucking everywhere. Why are there so many ants? I've never visited a desert in real life. Do they have this many ants? If they do, I'd quite like to go. I think ants are pretty nifty. Are the ants still following me? No. Okay. What did we grab? We grabbed a Anki saddle. Surely the winter snow I will help you in this desert wasteland. I know. Tell me about it. I'm immediately dehydrated. Okay. So I think this is the problem, right? I think I think you just can't do naked runs on Scorched because you just don't have the fortitude as, as a survivor to do it. You just don't have, like, the physical capabilities to get across the desert. Oh, 
Although we've got a good quarter of the way here, actually. Like, I'm shot. Is that a rock elemental? stamina how the hell did we survive that rocket we survived the rock golem somehow we're 1400 meters away from the morella tropes we're actually not that far away we've lost more than half of our health though I don't think we're making it. Micro Raptor. Yeah, no, we're dead. Yeah, no. Okay, so it's not actually possible for us to get there on foot. It's physically impossible. It's good to know, at least. You know, we needed to test that. <laughs> it's good to know. But no, it's physically impossible for us to get there on foot. It's just not happening. The egg is gone. The egg is just gone at this point. We 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 have failed miserably at everything. <laughs> okay. We're going to just start again. We're just going to like imagine that today just hadn't happened. Um, so hello, welcome to today's stream. We're going to be taming a flyer today. Yeah. Uh, not tamed a flyer yet on Scorched Earth. Yeah, I'm really excited to get streaming today. It's going to be really fun. <laughs> this is my doad. My legs stick out. It makes me laugh. It's the only bright spark in today's endless black pit of despair. <sighs> okay, so. I think what we do is we get ourselves a crossbow. Way to go, really. We get ourselves a crossbow. And... Some arrows. We got a little bit of flint. Not a lot of flint. Flint is still an issue. We just do not have much flint. It's just a bit of an issue. A bit of an issue. It's an issue, and it's a bit of an issue. Yeah, lack of flint is disturbing. Alright, so we're going to need to kill something. As usual. Because we need hide. Without hide, we're not really going to get very far right now. So, hmm. I'd really like to tame him. But I can't make a pick to get the flint to make the arrows to knock him out. I can't do this without... Can't do that without getting um one second, let me let me try some fiddly stuff here. I can't, I can't do that without killing some stuff, and I can't kill some stuff. Kill some fools. Doing some little little meaty tricks here. Oh it failed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We've still got ourselves 80 of it. That's nice. Is it an issue? Uh, nothing's an issue. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Right, we need hide. Um, trying to figure out the way to get hide. I don't think I even have my primitive tools left. I think I got rid of all my primitive tools. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you're gonna need to make a hatchet, just like a primitive hatchet, which is a bit. Blech. But we don't have a choice. Right, and then we need to kill something with the parasol. So we need to find something weak enough for our parasol to kill it. Our parasol does not do a lot of damage. I will point that out. Our parasol does incredibly low damage. 
Uh, another parasol might work. Uh, is the, if that's a lithio? No, it's not. It's a doad. Doads, doads are probably a bit too tough for us. Uh, yeah, this parasol might work. If we can kill the parasol, get some hide, we can make metal tools. We can do that. We can get flint. If we can get flint, we can get arrows. If we can get arrows, we can tame another morellotrops. Decent morellotrops. Come here, level 10 wild parasol. You must perish. It's for the greater good. Believe me, it's for the greater good. Your child will also be joining you very quickly. I'm really sorry. I should have just tamed it and then executed it. That would have been much quicker. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> okay. Right. So, hide into metal tools, into flint, into arrows, into morella traps, into we can finally travel again. Do you know what? The egg is gone. Let's just accept the egg is gone. So let's do Morella Trops into Argent Trap into Argent. Let's do that. Let's just go straight for an Argent. Let's just fuck, fuck. We're trying to go across de the desert on a Morella Trops. Let's just go for the, the best Argy we can find. Level 50 or whatever. If we can find it and it can carry shit. And it can ta help us tame other Argents. There we go. Done. It's going to end up being a long ass stream. <laughs> it's going to end up being a really long stream. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying sorry. No, I'm not forcing anyone to be here. <laughs> Some Americans who like watch my channel every now and then are going to turn on in a couple of hours and be like, why is Yao streaming at my time? This is this is not when Yao streams. And then by this point, I will just be this broken shell slowly sobbing about stuff that they don't <laughs> that happened hours before they arrived. <laughs> it's confused. Oh, <laughs> my sanity leaks away from me. It flows like a river from my soul. Yeah, I might have already broken a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Get some tools! Hurrah! Uh, crossbow. <laughs> you just like my pain, Rennie. I know what you want. You just want me to suffer. Okay. Flint. We can get flint now. We go from flint into the Morella Trops. Morella Trops into Argent. Oh, do we just go Parasaur? No. No, I don't think we go Parasol Argent. I think... I think if I try and go Parasol Argent, I'll die. The Parasol's absolute garbage. Let's just not rely on the Parasol for anything ever. <sighs> At least we have Metal Tools. Hey, we can make a Spyglass again, though. Nice, I like Spyglasses. Spyglasses fill me with joy. No, that's Flint. Flint does not make spyglass. There we go. The Jabara curse should have worn off by now. <laughs> oh, is that what's happening to me? That makes sense. Uh, right. Let's get every bit of Flint we got. That is every bit of Flint we got. We do not have a lot of Flint. We need an Art Anki next, really. Uh, is that all of the Bloody fiber too. All right, sickle. Let's go grab a bit more fiber. This does not count. This does. Jesus, that'll do. I love that I've been playing for like um, how many hours now on this server, and I still live on a small foundation. I think it's thatch that I'm lacking, actually. Doed, can you get thatch? I think the doed can collect thatch. I just added a death. I did! I bet that's what's been happening. Right, I'm gonna check my death number, okay? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it should be 16 deaths. It should be 16 deaths. There we go. I think I'm doing this a lot, typing and adding deaths. He does get thatch. Nice. He doesn't get a lot of it, but he gets it. And it's much nicer to see him swing his bum than it is for me to swing a pick. There we go. Can I make more arrows now? I can, but not very many, because we need more flint. Ugh. I think 70 arrows will do. For now, it's... Do we Morella Trops? That's the question. Morella to Morella Trops or not to Morella Trops? This is the question that we must answer. And I honestly don't know. Shit. Yeah, out of Narco Berries. So this Morella Trops over here is a level 90. Which means he isn't bad at all. He's probably a lot better than... What's that Anki down there? Huh, we could Anki instead. The Morella Trops is so much better at gathering berries than the uh, Parasol. Like, it's not even funny how much better the Morella Trops is at gathering berries, actually. Yeah, we have to Morella Trops because we need the berry gathering capacity. I saw another Morella Trops just up here. I'm just going to have a quick peek at what he is. We killed 110 earlier, and now I'm really sad about that. Well, 75. So the... Yeah, so the egg's gone, but... We can potentially salvage something from this mess. Alright, let's go make some narcotic arrows. Try and arrows. And then we'll tame this fella. And then once he's tamed, we'll make a Argent Trap. And we'll see if we can get ourselves an Argent. Although I don't know how an Argent Trap's going to... Actually, that's a really good point. How is an Argent Trap going to work with something that big? It's probably not. Uh... Spoil, please. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Cool. There we go. That is enough spoiled meat for now. That will do. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We have to make the, the narcotic arrows. We have to. We have to tame the Marilla Trops for... Um, berry gatherings, we're running out of narcotics, and this guy just doesn't gather enough. And then we have to get ourselves a flyer. We probably could use the Morella Trops to go get that bug that we tamed over on the other side of the world, but it's going to be a right trek. Oh, he's got a baby with him! Yeah, I think all of us going to Scotch together will be really fun. It's everything's a different experience when you got multiple people. Like everything's just wildly different. I'm looking forward to doing all the story maps with people in a tribe. I think that's going to be really fun. This guy might kill my parasol before he gets knocked out actually. She's fine, I don't care as long as he just gets knocked out. I don't give a shit. Parasaur can die. Parasaur's not very useful. Parasaur is dead. Parasaur is not dead because this guy is top of running.
Did he just fall out while swimming? Did he just swim for one second and then fall unconscious? I fucking hate this game sometimes. No, you were standing up the entire fucking time. You liar. Lying person. <sighs> Wait a second, can I move him? What the fuck? Why is it moving? I've never seen an unconscious team move. Wait, we bopped him out of the water and his oxygen went up. What the heck? I've never encountered this before. If we pushed him out of the water? No, I think he likes to... F he floats back in. But yeah, his oxygen keeps resetting. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Fuck it. Let's put berries in him. Fuck it. Apparently we can reset his, to his uh, oxygen, so why not? I mean, we've hit him a couple of times, so we've ruined his, his taming effectiveness, but like, <laughs> this is so stupid. How does this even work? Oxygen, full. Yeah. Yeah, the babies are a bit shit, but yeah, it does exist, which is kind of helpful. Oh no, I think the baby's gonna kill itself. Somehow. I'm so utterly confused by this. His, his oxygen is resetting. He's not taking... This is like a major thing. This is massive. If this is deliberate, it changes arc. If this is a bug, then it's a hilarious bug. He's out. He doesn't think he's out, but he's out. But he's 20%. <laughs> we have to babysit him. All right, it's 310. Let's see if we can get it back up. All right, let's see what it is now. It's not going up anymore. It's not going up anymore. That's a problem. Okay, we have encountered a problem. It's no longer... We no longer seem to be able to break him. Okay, let's see if that worked. Yep, that worked. What is this? How is this a thing? What the fuck? <laughs> the game is broken. I don't think this is intentional. But I can... I can knock him, like, up and out of the out of the water for a second and then his stat his oxygen just refreshes and then it starts going back down the second he's back in the water is his food refreshing as well like let's keep an eye on his taming i don't know if his food is refreshing too 
I wonder if we can just push him out of the water. It doesn't seem that we can push him out of the water. And it only seems to move in certain directions at certain times. Like we're getting him, he's getting quite close to the shore here. He's, I think he's out of the water. No, he's not quite. He wants to be out of the water, but he's not quite out of the water. He's, he's, he is taming, he's taming, his number's gone up. There we go! No, he just, he bounces back in the water, so it won't let me, it won't let me take him out of the water. It'll let me bounce him. And in bouncing him, it resets his oxygen. But it will not let me take him out of the water. That it won't let me do. Alright. Interesting. I want to build... So I want to put a building under him and see if that works. But I don't dare leave him long enough to do it. The baby, no, 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 the baby's over there. The baby's dead. The baby's, there's the baby's body. Baby's body is here. Baby immediately got in the water and drowned because he's not very bright. Yeah, look, it, it won't let me push him up onto land. Wait. His oxygen isn't going down anymore. I think we've done it. I think we've technically pushed him onto land. <laughs> I broke the game. Whoop whoop. <laughs> what the fuck? How? Why? I'm so confused. I don't quite understand what happened here. <clears throat> but... But I suppose I don't need to understand. The important thing is his oxygen isn't going down anymore right now. Sure, we hit him a couple of times, so we ruined his taming effectiveness a little bit, but, like... Worth it. That's wild. I don't want to move the Parasaur in case the Parasaur's part of what's going on. But I, I genuinely am utterly confused by this. Okay. No, Ed, can you collect berries? I can't remember if you can collect berries or not. Come here, buddy. So we need narcotic berries, and we have none. Don't think you can, can you? You just got your tail swipe. Yeah, no, okay. So we need to wait for him to turn. Don't question it. I, I'm puzzled. I'm not going to lie. I'm very puzzled. I know you can drag tames with a lasso. So I wonder if that's what's happened. I wonder if they've introduced the whole lasso thing and it's just kind of broken stuff about Thames moving around. What? I'm curious. If I move Parasaur now, was Parasaur holding him out of the water? Nope. His oxygen is not going down anymore. He is officially out of the water. Somehow. Cool. Okay, we can get some berries with the parasol. <sighs> right, I think we take the Morella Trops over to where we want to tame the Argies, and then we just do the do the Argy taming on foot. Because that's how the trap works. Uh let's just make the trap. Let's do that instead of gathering all this stuff, because 
the Morella Trops is going to gather way more berries than this guy is, so. Let's make sure we've got a Morella Trop saddle ready, and let's get uh, the trap built. If I can remember how to make the trap. <laughs> I'm going to use the Captain Fat Dog trap that I used on my ASA Island playthrough, because that just worked really well. Oxygen is still absolutely fine, yeah. I'm really nervous about him breaking or stopping working, but he seems to be doing fine. Okay, so we need a we need stone. So we need foundation, wall, ramp, door, I think. So if I remember right, it's I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try and remember this trap off the top of my head, right? It's a foundation. Three walls. A door. And a slope. A roof. Right, let's see if I've remembered how to make this. So I think, I think, I think, I think, it's like foundation. Oh, do you know what? It might just be two walls. It might literally just be dupe, dupe. Dupe, like that, I think. And then dupe. Dupe. Yeah, I think it's this. And then you run through. Archie comes in and you do that. Yeah, I think it's that. Okay, 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 okay. I think we've got that right. It's a fabulous design. Like, that's such a nice, neat design for an Argent trap. Let's pick all this up. It's light as well. Look, we can carry it on our person and barely weighs anything. So that's perfect. Let's get some more narcotics. Some more arrows crafting. We need as many arrows as we can get. Yeah, I think we're going to have to just go and get some more lint if we can. We're not taming an Anki anytime soon, so this lint is going to have to be done by hand. We've got to wait until this Morella drops tames anyway. Uh... Just double check him. Yeah, oxygen is not going down at all. We've knocked him out of the water entirely. <laughs> Morella drops have a wooden hide. We might have a spare one of these lying around, actually. We should have a Morella Trop saddle lying around. Because obviously we made one. If I just got rid of it, which would have been really, really stupid of me, wouldn't it? And I think that's what I did. Because, stupid. Yep. So I've made a Morella Trump saddle, found another one, and then got rid of the one that I made because Yao is bright. How much hide do we need? Another 30 hide. Okay. Parasaur. We're going on a mission. What is this guy? Level 15. We can kill him. Come here. No, it's just going to run away from me, isn't it? And I can't, I can't catch him. They're faster than I am. Why are Morella Chops faster than I am? Fuck. All right. Uh... Cool. What do I kill for hide? Come here. Oh, never mind. Uh, I'm debating killing the Parasaur for hide, but that seems really silly, to be honest. P is adding deaths. Ah! There we go. I think we're on six. We're on sixteen. Yeah, we're on sixteen. P is adding more deaths again. I need to really change that. Um. F10 does nothing. Let me just change that to F10 really quickly. Let's go settings. Uh, 
increment in, uh, increase is now F10. There we go. Yeah, F10. There we go. We got F10 and we got the minus button. They're above and below one another, so that works quite nicely. Right, that shouldn't happen anymore. Should have done that ages ago. Need a parasol, don't we? There, parasol. Please be low level. Perfection! Let's kill him. And then we can make the Morella Trop saddle. Then we have a Morella Trops. Then we can get some berries. Then we can make some narcotics. Then we can tame an Archie. And then we can go and rescue all our stuff that's on the other side of the world. Yes, Parasol. Just stand there and take it. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. We were doing so nicely. We're having so much fun. Oh, that works too. Oh, wonderful. Oh, we need more flint as well. Oh, we need more flint. We need more arrows. And then we're going to need a ton of Kaiden for an Argent saddle. Which isn't actually the end of the world when you consider how many bugs there are around here. Like, as soon as we can kill them fairly quickly, we can get them the chitin from them easily. Just keep digging yourself a deeper hole. I know this stream is never gonna end. I'm telling you, it's awful. I'm I'm trapped here for eternity. I think this is my curse. I don't know what I've done to deserve it, but this is my curse. Rinny thinks it's because I killed some Jaboa, but like the Jaboa were small and noisy. Surely they needed killing. Cool, we got berries. But sorry, we got a berry gatherer. Strange that this thing is, but it works. I don't quite understand how we have this Morella drops, all things considered. Like, we shouldn't have it, but it should have died in the water. But you know, I'm not going to ask too many questions. It, look, the Jaboa were asking for it, alright? They started the war. I just finished it. Oh, do it, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't do this. Oh, I suppose I need Kitan. More chitin. Come here, then. You're made of chitin, too. I, I really want an Argent, so... I'm happy to murder you for your chitin. And their babies. Okay, I killed some of the babies as well. Look. Not just the men. But the women. And the children, too. They were like animals. And I slaughtered them like animals. See, you know it's you know it's bad. You know Yao's tired when he starts just unabashedly making pop culture references like that. In like... 20 days, I'm gonna go watch all the Lord of the Rings trilogy in the cinema again. So I'm gonna just be making Lord of the Rings quotes non stop. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. My god, Doads just don't die, do they, when they roll up like this? He's almost there. There we go. Right, I think... Counts as hide. Yeah, okay, so we can get like 18 chitin from this. And a little bit of keratin from this. That's... It's going to be slow progress to get a, an Argent Saddle done up, but it's not going to be impossible. Have I ever been shanked? Do you mean stabbed? Are you asking if I have ever been stabbed? 
It's a strange request. I'll give you that. It's a strange question. Same thing. Uh, I, I've been injured with a knife by someone with a knife once. I, I wouldn't really call it a stabbing. They didn't. It didn't go in very far. Uh, and I've had one knife pulled on me when I've been on the street. So, yeah, I suppose I'm not really doing the UK stereotype justice here. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not helping the stereotypes here. <laughs> I suppose technically, yes. I don't recommend it. It's kind of painful. There we go. That is a ton of narcotics ta uh, taming. Why is the narcotics taming? I've broken. My mind is now mush. We are taming narcotics, guys. Okay, we need to make some... What is it we need? We need, we need, we need flint. We need flint. We need flint. Um, the, the, like, the biggest connection I have to knife crime in the UK is someone I used to play rugby with. Their little brother is in prison now because he stabbed two people to death. He was a really nice kid as well when I knew him, so fuck knows what went wrong, but somewhere along the line, clearly, kid went loop -a doop and, yeah, he, he stabbed two people to death and he's in prison. So, <sighs> yeah... That's my, like, only connection to real knife crime. What happened to me was when I was very, very young. And then the time someone pulled a knife on me, he just sort of left afterwards. He didn't really do anything with it. He just pulled it out, waved it for a bit, and then wandered off. <laughs> it was more confusing than scary when... So I was at a bus stop, and there was a guy being really 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 weird with a girl um and i i was like yo dude let's let's not do that <laughs> can we can we not and he pulled a little knife out of his trousers and waved it around for a bit and then wandered off and it i think i was more like i was more scared after it happened than when it happened at the time i was just like oh this is a really odd response to what's going on so this guy's making a really strange choice here. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, fuck, he could have just killed me. <laughs> it's really weird how in the moment it didn't really dawn on me that I was in extreme danger. I was just more like, my dude, let, let's just not do this. It's a nice day. Let's, let's, let's be friends. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Probably should have maybe run away or something. <laughs> And then, actually, I was on the other end of it once as well. It's just, I've just remembered this. So I was sat outside the bus station in Huddersfield, which is where I'm from. And Huddersfield isn't a great place. It's a bit of a shithole, right? And in the UK, you are allowed to carry a folding knife, right? Folding knife with a blade of three inches or less, as long as the knife can't lock open and isn't opened by one-handed methods, right? That's that's how the rules work. It's pretty weird, right? So I'm sat outside the bus station with my perfectly legal tiny little pocket knife eating a piece of fruit and some old man runs at me screaming about knife crime and grabs me by the shoulders and starts shaking me. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Uh, so, yeah. It's a, we live in a really confusing world. People are really strange. <laughs> I just want to emphasize that my little knife was perf very perfectly legal. I was doing absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> he just grabbed me and started shaking at me and yelling in my face about knife crime. It's like, all right. It's cool. It's cool. Uh... Right, let's make these arrows. 
<laughs> I'd forgotten about that. It's weird how certain things just like pop back into your head years later. Right, I think it's time to go and try and get an Argent. We've got an Argent trap. We got full clothes, maybe, 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 maybe. Let's make pan. Uh, no, we got that and shoes and then that. Right. So we got clothes, we got tools. We got everything we should need. I'm going to repair the crossbow so it's full health. How much chitin do we... We can't actually make an Argent saddle yet, can we? Oh, 63. We're really close. No, 62. We can make an Argent saddle. All right. 150 chitin and 350 hide. That's a lot of hide. But do we have enough chitin? Yeah, I I lived in a really rough part of Liverpool as well for a while. When I after I finished uni and I worked as a delivery guy, like I worked as a one of those bicycle couriers who deliver food. I worked for Deliveroo. Uh, I worked in, I lived in a really rough part of Liverpool. So I got home at like two in the morning after work, went to the little corner shop to get a block of cheese and some bread, <laughs> and I bumped into someone as I left the shop, and he properly starts having a go it's two in the morning and i'm really tired and i'm wearing by this point i'd stopped doing bicycling and i'd started doing motorcycling so i'm wearing full motorcycle armor and i looked down and i looked back up and i was like dude i'm armored what are you what are you doing and he's just like oh yeah fair, and wandered off liverpool is a strange ass place liverpool is a really weird place Right, I'm upgrading stamina on this fella because the last couple that we've had have just taken so long to get anywhere. Imagine if you ever saw the lack security at the warehouse where they open car box boxes. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm overheating. How? How are we overheating? Oh, it's like super, super hot right now cheese and bread look i live before i turned vegan i used to eat so much cheese like an unhealthy amount of cheese and it was fine because i used to do a shit ton of exercise and then i got in a motorcycle accident and fucked up my knee and stopped doing exercise and then my dog got taken away when i split up with my ex so i got really bad depression and i just kept eating cheese and not leaving the house and i put on a shit ton of weight <laughs> cheese is bad cheese is the enemy I don't like cheese anymore. Cheese betrayed me. I'm wondering if I can really quickly get a sleeping bag made if I kill this parasol. Right, if I kill this parasol, get its hide, get some fiber, and make a sleeping bag. The cheese did me dirty, so I turned vegan. That's exactly what happened, yep. Cheese betrayed me, so I betrayed cheese. Um, I don't think he collects fiber, unfortunately. How could you not like cheese? I don't understand that. Like, It's not a specific thing. That's like saying you don't like baking, like baked goods. Because there's so many different types of cheese with different flavors. I, I'm I'm at a loss, Rini. I'm genuinely at a, a loss here to understand this. There is no single cheese, so how can one not like cheese? Okay. Uh, we've got a sleeping bag, so we can probably... Oh, shit, we are hungry. Um, cactus? Cactus fill up my food or just my water? Oh, it fills up the food quite nicely, actually. Nice. All right. Let's grab those narco berries just in case. Cactus is good shit. You like a few kinds. Okay, that's yeah. Okay, that's fair. I I I do eat vegan cheese now. It took me a while to get used to vegan cheese after eating, like, after being obsessed with regular cheese most of my life. And I will admit, it's, it's kind of shit. It, it's not great. It's a, it's a bit of disappointment compared to the real thing. No, don't fall down. There we go. So 
So I hear the Jaboa yelling, right? And I, I know that means something is coming. And I'm going to guess it's going to be like a superheat or something that just absolutely wrecks my day. Because that's basically how today's playthrough has gone. That is an Argent. That is a... Unknown Argent. Cool. Have you tried... Yeah, so I was raised vegetarian. Uh, so I was vegetarian for the first, like, 20 years of my life. And then I ate meat for a year. And then I switched back to vegetarian. And then I went vegan. So I have tried quite a few different meats. I've tried bacon. I've, I've had bacon. Bacon smells better than it tastes. Sorry. <laughs> um, it tastes like salt, to be honest with you. Hey, Mega Man. Yeah, bacon's just really salty. If you smell it, you've had the best part of it. It smells way better than it tastes. Right, these Argents are kind of dog shit. What is this one up here? This one is 35. That one's... These two are 15. 15 is not acceptable. 15 is below our... 15 is below our acceptable limits of thingy. But this 35 one, I... Look, I'd accept the 35 one, all right? I, I think I would accept the 35 one. Let's see if we can build the trap. Ha, huh, interesting. Um, I may have fucked this up a little bit by just going over an aggro again. Uh, you know what? No, we can make this work. We can make this work. It's fine. Our Morellotrops is tough as heck. We can make this work. Badoop, badoop. Shkadoop. Daw. He's not even angry with me anymore. He's just, he's given up. He's just not interested anymore. There we go. Trap set. No, trap not set. We've done the trap. We've put the door in the wrong place. Door goes here. Okay, I see the RG. Like, I, I know it's flapping around somewhere. That's a uh, hyena dot. That's fine. If we can get its attention, maybe? That was a heck of a shot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Peaceful, 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 peaceful. Uh, I have played Grounded, yeah. It got a bit spoiled in one of the comments, so I kind of just lost interest in playing it. He's, he's not in! But we can set this guy... Behavior... Ah, shit. No, don't knock me off the cliff! No, don't attack it! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't hurt the fucking bird. They're already fragile as heck. Guys, so close! Fuck you, hyena done. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We need to make this guy peaceful. What's he doing? He's why is he moving still? He's on passive. Where is he going? Oh, he's wandering. Why is he wandering? What if we do this? 
I don't know why I took my shirt off. When in doubt, undress. <sighs> Bird. No, 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 bird, bird, bird. Bird, come here, bird. Bird. Come here, you flipping idiot. Dude, I'm shooting you. There we go, you pine cone. Okay, I'm actually kind of happy for it to eat. That actually does kind of work. Oh, shit. Well, this is kind of fucked up stuff, hasn't it? I mean, he'll eat the scorpion. The Argent will eat the scorpion if we can kill the scorpion, so that's kind of fine. Uh, sorry, Argent. Like, I'm very over-encumbered right now. We can kill the scorpion. Argent should eat the scorpion. We shouldn't really have any issues there. There we go. Where is Argent gone? There we go. No, dude, eat the scorpion. Dude! Why are you fucking like this? Why are you like this? Fuck you. Alright, fine. We'll find a different bird. Thought it. We're finding a different bird. Wait, no, he's coming back! <laughs> Stupid bird! I shut back on, that's true. No, I'm so vexed by that. What is... I can't make anything work for me today. I don't understand. Oh, yeah. Alright, we'll just eat some berries. And then we'll make a move and we'll go somewhere else because this just isn't working! <sighs> I think if I pick stuff up, right, I think I've got tools, so if, if I need to rebuild stuff, I'm gonna have to rebuild them. But I think if I pick this up, it gives me. Yeah, so, so I can just pick up the foundation and it should give me everything. Let me just double check. So if I go foundation and then I put the wall on top and then I pick up the foundation the wall is the wall is in my inventory. Yeah, that's cool. Right, let's find a different RG because fuck that one. That one, not my friend. That one, a dick. Uh, let's put some berries on my hotbar so we can just sort of munch hundreds of berries as we go along. Yay! The screen's all blurry again. I love that part of from Scorched Earth. It's so fun and amazing. Oh, that's a 150 saber cat! Huh. But I've hit it like three times. There's no way it lives. It dies. It's, it's It dies. That's our first max level that we've seen. That's our first max level. 
And it's a fucking saber cat of all things. Nah, man, this game hates me. This game hates me today. Web bud. There are three birds down there. 95, 95, 95, 95. 95. Aggro to me, come down here. Ninety-five. Da, 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 da. It is the bird that we want. It will hopefully work. We will potentially have a really good RG. No, don't fall off the cliff. No, 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 no. There we go. I don't think we can get it in the trap using this, to be honest with you. I think... I think it has to see our succulent, tasty body. Oh, what a shot. But it's... It is aggroing to me. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is actually a decent bird. We're gonna do the five count just so less likely to kill it. And then we'll go kill its little level 10 friends over there to get prime meat for it. Ooh, I feel like it's really weak. I'm really worried about its health, actually. I mean, it won't attack anymore. It's top running. It can't attack anymore. Next shot will potentially kill it. There we go! She's, he's unconscious. Fucking marvellous. Ten seconds between shots, the top of stats going down. Uh, topper lasts, topper increase lasts like five to seven seconds, I think. How do you make level 10 fire weapon to go with your fellow? <laughs> That's brutal. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's five, seven, five to seven seconds, not 10. But I can't test that without having the, uh, Spyglass. Um, as soon as we get a magnifying glass, we'll test it there, really. Because you might be right. Like, if you are right, that'd be really cool. In progress, Thames. Padoop. Okay, we need prime meat, but the fucking weather. Oh, 
Look at that. We can just turn off the stupid fucking fog. Nice. I don't even consider that to be cheating because I hate the fog. Seriously, man. I hate the fog. Level 45 Argent. Come here, you. We're going to fight to the death. Yeah, I'm, I'm just turning the fog off. I'm sorry. It's awful. It does not increase the experience for me or you. My, F my FPS is fine. We're getting like 80 at the moment, so we're doing alright with FPS. Uh, on ASE, it definitely isn't 10 seconds. I, I can guarantee that. But we can test what it is on ASA later. Either in the stream or after the stream, we'll go into the little private world that I've got and we'll test it. That gave me three prime meat. That is not very good. Another Argent down here. Level is this one. Level 15. Yep, definitely dies. No critical hit zone on the Argies. So it is what it is in terms of damage, but they're pretty weak, so. In fact, after the after I've done streaming, I'll test it on ASA and ASE, because I'm really curious now. Because I could be wrong. I could have been playing everything wrong this whole time. This is not giving me much raw prime, is it? There's three. There we go. That's giving me like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That might do, actually. Seven and a bit of regular meat is probably enough to get this guy tamed properly. Here's the question. Do we just try and get, like, all the stuff for the saddle right now? Just kill stuff? Get the resources? I bet we could do it. I bet we could get everything we need for the saddle. Twenty percent. Let's go get more raw prime. If we can, just just to make a hundred percent sure, everything's so blurry. I really wish I could turn that effect off. I don't think it adds anything to the game. Just think it gives me a headache. <laughs> a baby would be good. Like that baby right there. I see the little micro raptor though. I see the micro raptor. Micro raptor is fucked off. I don't know if it's going to come back. It looks confused about its choices. I'm, I want to hunt it down. I'm going to hunt the Microraptor down just in case, okay? Come here. Eight damage. Microraptor doesn't do that much damage. It's fine. We can live this. There we go. Microraptor dead. Where is the baby? There's the baby. Oh, that's all the prime meat we could ever need.
Yeah, I, I get that it's there to show me that I've got heat stroke, but it's just uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> uh, I don't. I got my little visual indicator down at the bottom that tells me I got a heat stroke. I don't need to be made to feel seasick. We'll kill some of these for some chitin as well. Okay, I think we've given him more than enough meat. I think he's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not nice, is it, the blurry screen? I, I really wish I could turn it off. No, don't escape. I must kill you. There we go. Right, we need to get uh, all the stuff we need for an Argent Saddle, which is... Let's see. We need another 100 hide, another like 60 chitin, and some 5. I think we're good. I think we can get this pretty quickly, actually. Hide, we just kill anything. Titan, we just kill a couple more of these joke bugs. Even though they're really good at escaping. There we go. <laughs> uh, nothing in here I need for it. Yeah, let's drop that. Uh, I wonder if those Ankies over there are good at. Do a decent amount of chitin. Uh, actually, we probably only need to kill one more joke bug. Baby Anki! Oh, little baby Anki! He's got little orange legs! Look at him go, that's so cute. <laughs> We're gonna leave them alone. I'm gonna leave the baby Ankies alone. I like Ankies. Uh, there's another joke bug there, but it might escape. If we chase it this way, we should be fine. There we go. Now kill it. No! Ankies are adorable. We leave Ankies alone. Alright. How much chitin do we have? 75. Uh, we need one more. Literally one more piece of chitin. So I think that Anki here might die. Unless it's like a really high level. <laughs> nope, that's perfect. This will give us some hide as well. Okay, how's Bird doing? Bird is 83% tamed. We're almost there with the bird. Ankies are adorable. Jaboa are annoying. So Jaboa get purged and Ankies get to live in peace and harmony. Like that Jaboa there, for example. That little baby Jaboa. You see it. I see it. I see you. Death to the Jaboa. And its parent up here will give us some hide. Little annoying desert mouse. There we go. I think. I think all we need now is the fiber. Which is going to take the longest, I bet. 100 fiber is not a small amount. <laughs> Rinny in the chat, no. Look, I don't like Jabroa, okay? Otters. Otters are the premium shoulder pet. Aberrant otters are like, mwah. Fucking love aberrant otters. Jaboa, they're not it. They're not good. We don't like Jaboa. Jaboa are one of the worst shoulder pets. Otters are the best, right? And then, I like glow tails and I like shine horns. And I like Sinnoh. 
what else do I like? I, do, I just don't like Jabra. I think it's just like all of them except Jabra and Bulb Dogs. Bulb Dogs are awful looking. Little pug monstrosities. Oh god, I need another like 50 of this fiber. Oh. Hey. Feel bad for pugs. I I feel bad for all brachiocephalic dogs. That's not a that's not any like shade on people who have pugs or anything. I just feel bad for brachiocephalic dogs. We bred them into a state where they're not comfortable. Jaboa will be my body. <laughs> Rainy, if you can keep a Jaboa alive through aberration, extinction, Gen 1 and Gen 2, I swear, I, I don't know, I'll make you president of the channel. It has to go through all boss fights, though, but if you can do that, fucking hell, I will be impressed. <laughs> no, it's 18 off. 30. No, it's... 85, not 155. Uh, let's grab another 30. 30 flipping fiber. This is. F Why can the morel drops gather berries but not fiber? Like. You're keeping a crayon. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It has to ride your shoulder through all the boss fights. That, that's the challenge here. That's the real challenge. How to annoy you. <laughs> uh, let's drop all this, and I think now I can finally make an Argent Saddle! Which means we actually have a functioning tame. Wait, how is it only level 20, 125? It was a 95 tame, wasn't it? I'm not wrong. Wait, 95. 95. Half of that's like, what? 40 something? So it should have come out at... It should have come out more than that. I'm... I don't know. Am I wrong? I don't feel like I'm wrong. Huh. Is there any way of seeing... It's taming percentage? I don't think there is. No, I, I haven't played Terraria since since I played it right at the beginning. Actually, that's not true. I played it with my wife a little bit. Uh, okay. Let's see. I think we can fly over to our sort of death bag over here. And see, I so what I'm thinking happens is potentially. We just go and see if it's still there. We see if the bag's still there. Yeah, I think the Archie must have got attacked. Because it definitely dropped its. It definitely was lower taming effectiveness than I was expecting. But once you got one Archie, you can get 100. It's not the end of the world. So I, I think there's zero chance of the bag being here. But I just kind of like to see. Oh, it's super heat. Fuck off. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we're going to die. Yeah, the RG isn't worth much compared to getting a... Um, Oh, Ivan, that's true, but it's vastly easier to do so. Uh, 
right, so I'm gonna get to the Morella Trops and I'm gonna put a sleeping bag down. Just because we're almost certainly gonna die here due to the heat. Give in to temptation. Uh, I... <laughs> We've got the Lemantria here, the little bug. We could try a run on the bug. I'm not against doing that. Put sleeping bag down. Yeah, uh, I don't need to put sleeping bag down just yet. We can get to the Morella Trops first. It's just here. There we go, sleeping bag. Ah, uh, you said that as I said it. Fair enough, sorry. I, I know there's a bit of delay at times, isn't there? Yeah, I don't think clothes help. I think we just die. Doing that. <laughs> right. So we're going to perish in a second. Can just put everything into him, that would be nice. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is give ourselves a death on the death counter for a start. And we're gonna spawn over here on the Morella Trops. And we're gonna bring this Morella Trops back home. That's what we're gonna do. There is a bigger delay on YouTube than Twitch. That's why my wife, Ender, who's downstairs, she's watching on Twitch because she can hear me in real life. And she says it's less annoying because Twitch, like, happens much quicker. So, you know, what's actually happening occurs quicker. If we can get down to where the water is, we should be fine. Get the Marilla Trops back to our main base, and then once this uh, storm is gone... We can teleport over there and grab some stuff. Yeah, there's three people on Twitch right now. So one of them is Quasi, one of them is my wife, and someone else. <gasps> I don't know who you are, but I will find you. <laughs> that was a bit more threatening than intended. I have no... Oh god, I've been streaming for like five hours. Wow. Right, yeah, so once we, got, once we get down to the water, we don't start boiling anymore. We're pretty much okay once we get down here. There's another... There's a Limantria just there. What we could do while this heat wave is going on is we could go get that Limantria. Holy ants! Why? Because more flyers is good. Like, the more little crappy flyers we have, the more likely we are to get a wyvern egg. So, not against it. Of course, that would mean making an entire batch of resource of mats again, though. Mm. I've got no tools on me, really. My bar is empty because I, I died, didn't I? So. I can't harvest them, unfortunately. Otherwise, yeah, you'd be right. That's why I'm debating getting that moth or not. Because if we do, if we want the moth, that's cool. But it's going to be an entire... We'd have to get everything up and running again to do it. What's that green? Oh, it's that ant there. I think the 
best thing to do would be to get a breeding RG. Maybe? No, because Argent Saddles are so fucking expensive. <laughs> that's that's okay, Rini. That's okay. Is your internet not doing well again? Oh, you Ender is probably gonna send you some messages at some point soon, Rini, about colors. <laughs> You're gonna get some PMs from my wife demanding to know what colors go with what. Well, probably not demanding. Probably politely requesting. <laughs> We're at the stage where we're picking out colors now, so. Oh dear. Right, we're back at base. We're back at a tiny little rock of a base. I'm... <laughs> I think we could have just gone and got an RG straight away. Uh, colors for my, my new house. My wife and I have bought a house and Rini is an uh, interior designer. That's her thing. So we've been, <laughs> we've been bullying her into servitude. We've been making her work for us. <laughs> hmm. Still got the super heat going on. Um, how are we doing for resources? Could do with more berries. I mean, we could always do with more berries, couldn't we, really? Like, that's a thing. Let's, let's grab a few more berries. That's not a berry. For some reason. I'm confused about what is and isn't a fucking berry in this game sometimes, I tell you. I just, I want the super heat event. As soon as the super heat event is ended, we're good to go. But while it's still running, we're in a bit of a pickle, really. I think we need to pick a base spot, like a permanent base spot. I think that's actually going to be our next task. Because I don't want to just do what I did today and just run the wyvern trench pointlessly again and again and again. I think we... We're obviously going to die in that trench a lot. We, we know we are. Like we, We've just accepted this now. So I think we need a permanent base spot that's somewhere near to the Wyvern Trench. Near enough for us to run it. Because the Fasola are over there as well, and I really want a Fasola. They look really cool. So, it's like... We can find a spot to live in. That's, I mean, let's have a look at our map. So, that's where my stuff is right now. I think Red Orb is, like, over here somewhere. And Blue Orb is, like, up here somewhere. And then, obviously, this here is Green Orb. So, this is where I lived in the very last the last time I did this game. I lived on Green Orb. Ah, green, this is Green Orb. That, that right there is Green Orb. So, that's where we lived last time. I think that there might be Red Orb. So Red Orb is quite close. But not super close. I have to name the Fasola small and put I will do this. <laughs> right, I think that's enough narcotic berries for now. I think that will do for now. That's a lot of narcotic berries. And the event's over. Okay, right. Let's go get our shit back. <laughs> By shit, I mean our one RG because we're not going to be able to get the Morella Trops back anytime soon because we just can't carry it. We have no way of transporting it, unfortunately. Five hour mark. That's a... I haven't streamed for five hours in a while. I think my longest ever stream, other than the 24-hour stream, is uh, like eight hours on Aberration when I built that stupid base. <sighs> right, fast travel over to the sleeping bag. Break the record. That would be a long stream. <laughs> Some clothes on. 
Right, and there was a cat over here, wasn't there? There, that. Oh, look at this. Look at how much damage the RG does. Yes. I love RGs. Fucking love RGs. Right, what do we need for a Lamantria saddle? Fiber, keratin, and hide. So we can get hide pretty easily, and we can probably get keratin pretty easily. And we got a little bit of hide. I'm gonna hop over and see if we can see death 14. Death 14 is potentially where the egg is, but like we all know the egg is gone by now, right? Don't we? we we're, we've accepted this. The egg is gone. So we're going to go have a quick look at Death 14's location. See what's there. But we're not going to engage any wyverns because we will lose. It's that straightforward. We will just lose. But wolves, we can do some mean ass things to the wolves. Like this. Oh, my cat's arrived. I'm being licked on the arm. Hello, buddy. How you doing, Mo? What's up, lad? See, sometimes we're hitting it on the head and doing 100 damage, and it's actually winning the fight against us somehow. That's a strong fucking wolf. That's a really strong wolf. We've only got 500 health left. Huh. That's spooky, actually, how strong that wolf is. Have they buffed dire wolves a little bit to compensate? It was a 110 or something wolf. If it eats something, then yeah, it could actually be tameable, that. You're not wrong. Um, I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> I think there is no item cache here at death 14. The egg is officially gone. There is no item cache. Egg has officially gone. Oh, no, 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 no. How bird live? How bird live? Bird live? Oh fuck, bird live! Bird live, bird, bird not live! Bird live! Oh, bird live! Why even spooky? Bird live! Oh, fuck me, bird live! That was some evasive maneuvering. <laughs> that was 
was awful. I didn't like that. That was scary. Feed bird cops. I know. I I need to. I need to figure out where though. What sort of? I need to figure out something bird can kill. Bird, very weak right now. <sighs> Bird, maybe eat jug bug. Bird, eat jug bug. Oh, gosh. What the heck? Genuinely not entirely sure how we got away from that. I think that was just luck. Uh, it was a, a decent bit of flying, like I did okay, but I think mostly that was just luck. <laughs> we just got lucky hiding under that little outcrop and then it went after something else. But I mean, obviously, it's it's still around this area, so we really do need to be careful. I would like to get to my Morella Trops and bring all that stuff back home. I think being out here on the bird any longer than needed is silly. I think being near the Wyverns on the bird is silly until we've got uh, a spare one. Okay. Bird healing. Bird lives. Gosh dang it, that was terrifying. I think it would have broken me. Like, mind, body, and soul if this bird had died. I, th I think that would have been it. I think I'd have just cried in a corner for a bit. Oh, a tappy! A tappy! Huh. Tapihara, hello. Right, so I think what I want to do is I want to get my bird home, as much of this stuff home as I can as well, and then I want to do a bit of exploring, okay? You want to have a look around the map for a little bit. Like I said, pick a, pick a place to live, all that sort of stuff. That lightning wyvern is in a terrifying place. Right, so I want my equipment, arrows, argent trap. Everything from this box. And I would really like you to follow me. Let's go home. Oh, okay. Right, we'll get the Lemantria back home, then we've got a spare flyer at home. And then we'll go out scouting, we'll bring the Argent trap and anything we need to tame an Argent, and if we see more Argents, we'll tame them. That is a ruin that I don't think we've visited yet. No, we have visited it. Oh, have we? No, we haven't. It took weeks of search... Oh, okay, so bird has a few levels. I'm gonna stick them in health, honestly, just in case. Uh, I think we'll level his health up to 2500, and that'll do. Shouldn't need any more than that. Nine times out of ten, if this thing gets attacked by a wyvern, it's dead. That was just pure luck, to be honest with you. Okay, oh, I'm slowly calming down from the horror of that wife. <laughs> yeah, the Tapahara is cool. I just don't see any way of getting up to it. Like, they're so flighty, they just run away if they get spooked. I don't see any way of actually taming that thing from where we are right now. 
I don't think you can shoot off the back of a Lamantria. That would be kind of cool if you could. It would kind of give them a bit of a niche, a bit of a use. But I'm not sure if you can or not. Hey, Crystal. Okay. Uh, dehydrated. This is less than ideal. We're 2,000 meters away from... Anything. We're really, really far away from water. Uh, fuck. Wait, is that water here? That looks like it might be water. We might be okay. It's not water. It's just a sort of soggy bit of ground. Shit. Uh, I think we're fine. We can... Yeah, we, we're fine. It's just Torpor that's rising, and it's not rising that quickly. We're alright. How's the Lamantria doing? It's... Struggling to keep up, to be honest. <laughs> but it's trying its best. Oh, crap. My health is going down because of the super heat. Fuck. Yeah, I actually... That's a really good idea. I should start marking the wells. All right, I'm going to try and go straight for the water, which is just down here. Let's see if we can reach it in time. 60 health. 50. I know we might leave the Lamantria behind here, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. 40. 30. Twenty. We're not losing health anymore. We're officially hot, not boiling. The Lamantria is no longer following us as well. That's okay. Wait, no, we're losing health again. I think now we're losing health due to dehydration. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Nineteen. Twenty. There we go. No longer losing health. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. It's okay. Let's recover, get some stamina back. So, we managed to get ourselves an Argent. We can hopefully use the Argent to get more Argents. That's kind of the goal here now. Um, we got a Lamantria somewhere out there that we can get. We got a Morella Trop somewhere out there too that we need to recover at some point as soon as we got Soul Balls. We've got multiple sets of equipment because of how many times we've had to die and reset ourselves today. I suppose in some ways it's kind of handy what's happened because we've got a bunch of different equipment and stuff and tames and things now, but in other ways, yeah, we, we kind of just screwed ourselves, slamming ourselves headfirst into trying to get that egg again and again and again when we should have waited until we had bread flyers we sh we really should have waited until we had bread flyers and maybe some sort of outpost out there to help with taming but to, uh, help with getting eggs but it's done it's done now we've ended up with a uh, a decent enough rg we can use this argent to get a ton more realistically if we don't go near the wyvern net trench we shouldn't lose this argent it should be safe so i feel okay to be honest i feel okay with our progress I'm not too dissatisfied with where we are. Which is about as positive as I can be. We got an Argent Trap, we got a sleeping bag, we got all the tools we need. A little bit injured, but that's not the end of the world. Yes, a bread Argent. It's. It's similar to a cake wyvern. They're both delicious. I would I would eat it. I would totally eat an RG that was like a cake that was shaped like an RG. That would be awesome. Any bakers should bake ARC products. That would be so cool. Imagine making a, a biscuit that looked like a shadow mane and all different colored icing. So I bet someone could do that as well. Like 
Okay, I think that's a really good place to stop for today. Next time, we're gonna go and get a bunch more Argents and get ourselves ready for moving house to a better place. And then after that, we'll assault the trench. So we'll leave it there for today. We got our lucky hat back and that's obviously the most important thing. So thank you very much for watching everyone. I'll see you tomorrow maybe for Hollow Knight. I need food and to recover from the mental for the mental stress of